Mmm. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Tell me about yourself, Joe. Hi, I love Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo's my favorite game ever. But you, you have a girlfriend. <sighs> gay. Uh, I, I'm gay. Yeah. That's getting mm. clipped, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. Eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class. Reading is good! I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Ryan Kendall, and I answered my calling. Now it's 1984. Knock and knock. Hi. How you doing? Hang on. Hang on. Head down, it's so good. That was a good fucking intro right there. <laughs> Holy shit. I was My like, name is Ryan Kino. I was like, I'm gonna, am I even a fucking the, goddamn if, robot can pronounce my last name right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I going to be the focus? And then, nope. It was all about Ryan. Ryan. I, was like, yeah. I feel like I've seen that one. I've, it's got to be an old one, right? <laughs> old you, were, you were skirting of the uh, you're gay bit there, Jeremy, but okay. <laughs> uh, that's oh, getting clipped. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what's know. under that uh, URL in that that scan that QR scan code. Right? Yeah. Scan what is that? In. That's going to be, we'll have that. to go back and, and try what a mystery. Yeah. It's just like interracial porn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lemon well, party. There's no chance of this one getting monetized. So, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. hey. Oh, the way, right? On the road, I was watching Carl's face during that entire intro. <laughs> 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 what you know, like myself right, is that you guys put on such a bigger production than we do. 
<laughs> it's way more impressive than anything we did. I don't know. 17 minutes late. Oh, <laughs> you were here. It took us 30 yeah, we're minutes. On time, to but, you know. that, okay? <laughs> yeah, it took 30 minutes to get through a sound check. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're late because I'm on hamster internet from the road in Palm Springs, California. Very excited to be here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Have, you, have you stopped by to see Gavin and let him know you're back? Gavin Newsom? Have you let him know you're back? You big fan of Gavin Newsom? Oh wait, I no, he's in. Jump he, on the sidewalk. He's actually in. He's in Israel. So, because uh, clearly California has no problems that he needs to worry about, so he's going to travel to Israel. <laughs> he's in Makes Israel. Sense. That's he's a, That's what he said the other day. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't everybody <laughs> have to be right now? You know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Gary, if you're in Palm Springs, Gary, there is a in downtown on the main strip of Palm Springs. There's a modern art museum. Uh, yes. That I got kicked out of for being too fucking drunk. Um, <laughs> like, and it's straight. Well, it's, yeah, that's, that was mostly. It wasn't just that I was drunk. It's that I was drunk and saying everything I actually felt about all the art in there. Yeah, <laughs> why, because you have to be drunk out. to enjoy modern art. Yeah, seriously. Why is this piece of human feces on a pedestal? <laughs> right, we should know that's not a phony. Get that sensible yeah. man out of here. You could have just claimed it was performative art and you would have been, you know. There's two kinds of people in Palm Springs old and gay. He is an old. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, why the are you there? One clean city in uh, old. California. <laughs> and why am I old? But what's both. the other kind? Old and gay is one, but what's the other? It could uh, be together. And gay old. and old. <laughs> gay and old. All right, let's get going. Uh, yeah, I'm here to, to, to at a CPAC conference, but not the conservative one. They decided <laughs> to name it CPAC as well, and it's some kind. Of, it's an ancient civilization's grand. theorists. Isn't a yeah. CPAC what you put on an injury? No, that's you... a. That's a CPAP, which I thought you were at a oh. CPAP conference. I mean, I, I <laughs> tell you, that's what helps you sleep. Yeah, <laughs> you snore. Yeah. Uh, so CPAP, yeah. yeah. We've actually got a lot to talk about today, aside from making Carl watch Loki. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not going to forgive you for that either. Holy <laughs> shit, it was boring. That last episode was the God. worst. It was the so, whole thing. Is I was in the list in two. I don't know what through. even happened. I watched I jumped it. Through I, it. I jumped through it. I was, I was done. I'm like, Bro, fuck, when, fuck Gary, fuck everything. When this I saw crazy. in the chat earlier this <laughs> week, uh, like Sargon's like, anything we need to watch? And... Lady Greymatch says Loki, and he's like, the fucking series? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I actually was kind of hopeful it was like a film was out or something, so you get a budget on it, but you know. What do no, I know? no uh, it, that was the worst episode of the entire series. I'm ba- I'm embarrassed for Jonathan Majors. Like, he was terrible. So no, I, I'm not embarrassed for him. I'm embarrassed for the people that saw his off-Broadway theater acting and was like, this dude needs to be the center of the MCU going forward. <laughs> like, that's who should like. That's who should be embarrassed because it was all because they liked his clown acting, like literal clown acting that he did in the dude finale of Loki. Yeah, what if we make this guy excruciating, Mark, but stutter for forty minutes? Right. That was great. That I had it on choice. like fast forward, so it was going through very like on half speed or double speed, what and he was still so slow. Dude. Imagine if Owen Wilson and Jonathan Majors had a long conversation together. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. No, and you would have fucking blown that. my that's, brain. That's out. episode four. <laughs> And then Loki could just cry in the corner while masturbating to the female version of himself. Yeah. That's yeah, he, he was so. just like wearing high heels and standing on his balls, calling him a fucking fool and a disgusting... You know nothing, John uh, Loki. Look at me, John's I'm fucking Loki. Karen. I'm Karen. I'm like fucking Karen. Look at my hair. I look like a fucking... Le- I look like Martina Navratilova's lover. I, I really think what... To be honest, what the show was really missing was another Spoilers. girl boss, but this time oh, one that's darker. So. When when Ren, <laughs> Ren Slayer at the end was just like, ah, I'm in charge now. I was like, oh, fuck off you. <laughs> Fucking we'll, 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 we'll get there because there was so much stupidity at the end of that episode, like Loki just not using his powers when he could have. 
<laughs> That's the theme of the show is Loki yeah. not using his power. Like in the last one, he's like have. running, 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 chase, 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 and it's like, oh, you still have powers. No, you not going to use them. Magic okay, powers. Thanks. You you forgot. You you yeah. just made a a giant guy disappear into a cage of monk of baboons or something like that. Why don't you just <laughs> do the same thing with Renslayer? But no, because the riders are also baboons, Gary. Uh, there you well. Well, that guy was it's giving him credit. That, that it, guy it, that was white, a better job. So it was okay for him. We also have the actor. Uh, the actors are trying to pay their own union off to end the strike. What the fuck? And they've been told to fuck off. And they've been told to fuck off. By the way. And then, then the SAGs decided to to, to do one more and ban costumes. Tell the actors what <laughs> oh, costumes yeah, they wear. So funny. And for Halloween, them? just to be yeah. clear. Gay yeah. yeah. okay, yeah. orgies, there's yes. still like no limit to what you can dress up as. <laughs> totally okay, yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can't dress. We'll get into that. But uh, what's up, Jeremy? How you Happy doing? Happy Super Mario Wonder Day. I have been playing Super Mario Wonder all day, and it's uh, pretty good. I don't think it reaches the hype that a lot of these fucking people are saying, but... It looks it's it's pretty fun so far. And clear, the uh, only person I saw hyping up was you, Jeremy. That's not dude, it's like one of the best reviewed <laughs> games of the year. What the fuck oh, are you talking Jeremy about? Was obviously that's the only excited. person I saw. Jeremy was obviously excited because he was sending me a bunch of messages that weren't supposed to go to me, including the dip pics. Thanks a lot, dude. I, uh, I barely like, fit it in there. <laughs> <laughs> barely fit it in there. No, I had a plenty of room. Gavin. Is it above average, Gary? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Gary like, sent some really I'm interesting messages this back, and I'm like, why are week. you being so nice to me? Oh, I accidentally <laughs> sent you a dick pic. My bad. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I got to show you this real quick. I was looking for this earlier. Make you feel bad. Like, <laughs> you know, guy, dick. You'll, good. you'll appreciate this, Gary. <laughs> Gavin someday. Newsom on his way to <laughs> take this <laughs> uh, So he's walking through the homeless all through LA so he could go take a picture in his <laughs> <laughs> So damn good, dude. So damn good. But yes, happy to be here. Friday night tights. Uh, good to have Carl back on as always. And yeah, let's get this party started. Oh, shout let's out to YouTube for uh, temporarily suspending monetization Mon yeah. for Sniper Wolf. Temporarily. It's okay. No, just oh. you should be back tomorrow. But Russell yeah. Brand, <laughs> Russell Brand, no, notice how that wasn't yeah. temporary. Oh, yeah. What's temporary what? on that one? What about me? So, I yeah. made a joke <laughs> four years ago. This is a joke you in the four line. years ago. It's a politician, and they're like, you're fucked, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no more money for you? Hey, they're going to pay more you. close attention to off-platform <laughs> violations, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I didn't dox I, someone, you know? <laughs> the I saw you in the replies. This should be demonetized, Carl. Wow, that's YouTube. Come on now. That's good news to me. How's your page? on doing <laughs> we all well, predicted this right so, there's a reason i started a website you know what I mean? so, we were talking about this on night's watch and we're like well she's not gonna get banned and and i reckon it's because she is stealing all this content from tiktok and monetizing it on youtube and youtube is like oh <laughs> she's taking freaking views over on youtube and so yeah they're gonna softball her you just knew that was gonna happen yeah, of course. I'm just gonna start making Sniper Wolf reaction videos so she comes over to my <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, As? God, oh man, I'm gonna follow this up with something. But look, uh, before we get back into dick jokes and for, uh, frivolity, uh, I got something legit, legit. And this isn't bullshit. Uh, legit sad to uh, to kind of say. I'm wearing uh, green today. Admittedly, it's a fucking X-ray girl riding a big D. But uh, I'm riding, I'm wearing this green today because uh, I was contacted by a chap called Anthony during the week, and um, tragically, his his 13-year-old nephew was was uh, killed in a car crash uh, during the course of the week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, or so ago. And there's one uncle to another uncle. It was his his nephew, and uh, from one uncle to another, I just want to you know pass on my my sincerely sympathies mm. and uh, he asked if there was any chance because they're doing a, a memorial day today uh where uh, wearing something green in honor of his nephew so uh this was believe it or not this is the only green top that i have 
Uh, so I put this on. So again, as one as one uncle to another, and very similar ages. Um, I just want to pass my best on to you, Anthony, and and I, I've been thinking about you since uh, since you contacted us, and uh, just wishing you, your extended family, uh, and obviously everyone there, um, just just the the most deepest of sympathies and, and love. Uh, I'm so sorry. Dude. Well wow. said. Amen. Yep, well said. Sorry, I don't have green. I'm oh, glad I get to go after that, and that we also didn't know about the green. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Thanks, as, that wasn't you funny at all. Something in advance, as I would happily yeah. want something. Great. You said you had a banger yeah. joke to start off Just with. I've been thinking. I've been thinking of so much shit to follow it up. Now I can't use any of it. <laughs> well, you I can't. Mean, like he's a big. That. He's a big watcher of Friday Night Ties. I'm I mean, sure Anthony understands what we're all about. Okay. He did say that watching watching our content has has kind of um, helped him. How don't cheers. know, uh, but no, you know. No, we know that. Hopefully, laughter is is you know something which uh, which is a little bit of a heel, but only time can deal with this. But uh, yeah, uh, nothing but love, Anthony. Uh, nothing but love. I've heard I've heard from a lot of people that we we definitely help them out a lot because they realize we can make it. Any fucking body can make it. So they're they're, they're very they're really, motivated in life. Like, look at these really, retards. I feel a lot we're better really about myself. Retarded. Yeah, yes, we're really yes, yes, yes. We do have like I think about that sometimes. We have a lot of people like, man, I'm really miserable, but you help me get through. And I'm like, God, are all the people that watch you just miserable as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's not us. Yeah, we make you miserable. Uh, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see a lot of green hearts in the chat. That's awesome. Shout out to you. That's oh, awesome. Lovely, bro. lovely. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff right there. Well, now we can go over to Ryan, Mr. Positivity. <laughs> I haven't seen Ryan this angry since. Uh, speaking, of, uh, speaking of green, <laughs> I, I had to watch Loki. Um, <laughs> but but no, in, in all seriousness, that that's rough. And we know a lot of people in our audience are going through shit. So we're glad we can make you laugh for at least a couple hours a week. Yeah. That's really all I got. Follow mm -hmm. that up. Oh. Dude, I love Ryan today on daily. I wasn't on daily, but he was like, I see a lot of you guys in the chat talking about this actress is fat and ugly. I've been to the meetup, seen a lot of you fuckers. Because like somebody asked, somebody asked me, Ryan. On a deserted island, who are you going to fuck, Rachel Zegler or Brie Larson? I think Rachel Zegler's younger and hotter than Brie. And I'm like, I, so I just had to start because like, we hear that all the time about this girl's mid, this person's mid as fuck. I'm like, I see the way y'all, a lot of y'all talk about these Hollywood celebrities and shit. I've seen you guys, okay? <laughs> like, it's, I, it's ironic that I hear from you calling this actress mid. <laughs> And that's when we lost the fat audience. around, trust me. <laughs> they got the pass. It just means that they're allowed to criticize people of the same type. You know, that's why I'm, oh. I can criticize fat people. I'm fat. So yeah. yeah mid I call people mid. fat all the time. Because <laughs> I can. Mid. It's my word. Well, thanks, uh, Ryan. But I, I got to say, the answer is Brie. Well, over well, Rachel Zegler? Yeah, yeah over yeah. Zegler. Yeah. Yeah. What I said, yeah, too, absolutely. is it's like I've heard a lot yeah. more foul shit out of the mouth of Rachel Zegler in the past couple months than I have from Brie. Yeah, so. yeah, the answer is Brie. Wait, I reckon, Brie, yeah. I reckon she could have a redemption arc. Uh, I, I, I have faith in her. She can... Me, too, especially yeah. if she keeps liking my tweets. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if, she, if she quits Marvel after the Marvels, that would be the redemption arc. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, we all know that it was her marketing team that liked your tweets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Um, she's she's going to start a Manoverse channel. Like, I think it was her marketing team, like, giving her cues to say all the bullcrap that she's saying about the wrinkle in time and white guy watching and stuff. I reckon she doesn't really believe in that stuff. She was just trying to follow the crowd and do what, you know. Oh, this is such code. Was. I, I think she's just. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think she's just. I can fix her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I, I think all just right. like nearly everyone who probably fucking grows up in Hollywood. She is yeah. an empty vessel that's just full of thoughts from everybody that's surrounding yeah. her. What you think you're supposed to say or supposed to do, yeah. and that's like, totally and then all of a sudden she gets all this backlash. She's being told, "Well, it must just be because these people are sexist, massages. That's why." And then she's looking around at Gal Gadot. No one's bitching about Gal Gadot. Like she's looking at the success of Wonder Woman, all this shit. So, like, I think she's pretty much laid fairly low over the past several years with all yeah. the backlash and stuff that's yeah. happened personally. 
Mm-hmm. Hang on, Carl. It's cope when it comes from me, but when it's come from Ryan, you agree with him? He's been sipping <laughs> after brief ages. She did oh, like no, a sweet. I was, was going to disagree. I just wanted to let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I appreciate it. That's new around here. I'm just um, polite. <laughs> <laughs> He's British. Uh, hello, Chrissy. Oh, hello. I'm here. I'm knocked up. Get used to it. Uh, <laughs> yes, congrats. Congrats. Oh, Officially. Yes. Finally, uh, someone else is going to you know, oh, no, take over. I appreciate you guys for not spilling the beans prematurely, although I can't say the same for Frank. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Filing cabinet, lock Mike, your you drawer. Out, out of you or what? <laughs> well, that's how it well, happened. I told you guys, I didn't mean to tell anybody, but... You- it's my fault. Just say it. It's yeah. definitely 100% Ryan's fault for, like, <laughs> for sleuthing it out. What was it, like two weeks ago or something? And I was like, you shut your mouth. So I was, and then I <laughs> no, had zero was poker face. Way more subtle than that. So we were discussing an event, a possible event in April. I think the liquor... Came Wait, are up. we telling the story now, Gary? We're telling the story. So, so, no, well, here's what's yeah. funny about it, okay? So on, on Geeks and Gamers Daily, like Ryan was going to start talking about it, and suddenly our chat says, Gary says no! And I'm like, uh, chat says Gary says no. And Ryan's like, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? And they're like, because Gary said it on a stream. I'm like, well, why didn't Gary tell me not to say it? But I had to learn I watch chat. your fucking streams. Why don't you watch my fucking stream? Okay? Because I'm tired of never being acknowledged I when I comment. Videos. I watch never acknowledge me in the here. comments. You don't even know the comments are there. I get acknowledged all the time. Okay, so <laughs> acknowledge me. Oh, we'll we're get over. A little pre show. We're talking about possibly it was Vegas in April, and uh, booze came up. And uh, Chrissy goes, I don't know about that. And Ryan's all, Hey, hmm. I think it was also travel. No, 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 no. It was, it was, oh, we might have something when, and then uh, oh, Vegas, some, it was Vegas. She was like doing the mash, she's like, When yeah. was it? And, and then you said, oh. someone said April, and I said, Oh. Yeah, and then Ryan immediately <laughs> was so pregnant. And then, like Ryan goes, no, no. and then Ryan goes, Hey, Chrissy, let's do some shots right now, right before the show. Yeah. Come on, me with some shots. I was let's like, do Why would we do shots before the show? There's nobody watching, nobody's no super chats yet. I'm like, Why would we just waste yeah. it on the show? Like, she got so show. awkward about it. I'm like, All right, hey, that tells me everything I need to know. You yeah. can't do these dates about, I don't know, eight months from now. And also, <laughs> You're not willing to take a shot with me this immediate second. You're fucking pregnant. <laughs> and I could have gotten a mysterious liquid and been like, sure. Okay. You could have done anything. Yeah, but I, I actually, like, to be honest, I felt really fucking bad about it in the aftermath. I felt proud of myself Good. for knowing. But I felt really bad afterwards. More proud like, than embarrassed. My, well, my incessant fucking need to, like, be right or prove that I know more than somebody else. <laughs> revealed like a secret that Chrissy was keeping from everybody. So I do feel bad I about that. I just need to be a better liar. That taught me a valuable yeah. lesson. Well, you're welcome. Well, we you did point out proud. that the chat would have figured it out before anybody uh, with, you know, the breast size. So the, the chat would have gone, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you're glowing. Uh, yeah. It's chat, yeah. Gary, can you, you not be so through. crass to say breast, please? Ew. Can we have big fat titties. dirty milkers instead? You know? Milkers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> fun pillows. Okay. They would have noticed the <laughs> in your dirty pillows. Uh they're not well, are they dirty? I don't know about that. Uh thanks for being here. Uh and, and now we way. have an extra person. Now there's like literally a, an extra host. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. they contribute. I'm just like, glad that Gary remembered Chrissy three before, three <laughs> before the end of the show. I know. I, think, I, I hope I. I, I hope I. I hope the fact that I'm growing a penis inside of me is going to make me sharper on this show. <laughs> You're going like, to respect you more. Be like really into comic books and Lord of the Rings and shit. Hey, now. let's come over me. Yes. I'm watching yeah. the extended editions. Penis <laughs> and ice cream, and yeah, I want to watch the extended editions. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, welcome, Chrissy. Congratulations, oh, okay. by the way. Uh, Congratulations, you took a load in the vagina. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> I just laid there with my legs open. Good work. Wow. Good work. 
<laughs> you haven't done the hard part yet. That's in a while. Yeah, that's in the that hard month. part happened already. It was. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get Carl Benjamin to keep coming on the show? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm that same question right now. Hi, Shaq. I'm enjoying it. To be honest. Hey, Gary. It's good to be here. It's nothing else to report. Next. <laughs> that, yeah, that's I'll good. Quite on our Western front. Just keep it there. <laughs> And yes, this is the real Shad. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Core Black. Yo, what's up? Uh, Loki, boring. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, look who's back. The guy who's only, is he's given birth to the only child in the last. <laughs> Children of men. Years. Children, Children of Odin. Count your days because Chrissy's about to have another Odin. one, all right? And you're going to get kicked out. I'm so happy that I'm not the only one procreating anymore. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. Garrett and I have been contributing quite good in that department. So hold <laughs> up here. No, that's just a fantasy. Yeah, so we just got our shit out of the way early, Odin. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. right. We've moved on, okay? A good thing both <laughs> of you can like have a, an actual basketball game with a bench yeah. uh, between two teams. <laughs> uh, I, I, well done. We, oh, we're still waging war over here. I need some soldiers. So I'm already getting <laughs> <training. laughs> to replace them often. <laughs> I don't Gary. know anything about how athletic Shad's or Quarterback's kids are, but in a basketball game, something tells me to bet on Quarterback. Kids get up. Oh, did you say that you have a quarter confidence in that? Yeah. Uh, well, hey, it's an hey, Kyle, how you doing, buddy? You right? <laughs> What's up, comments? We're, like, we're the ones that, who aren't who aren't demonetized. Just FYI, just saying. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, seems like I dodged a bullet with Loki. I again, like as last week, I completely forgot this show even existed this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, that always feels our like makes our guests feel good when they like have to watch something and the hosts are just like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, I try and keep up with this shit, but unfortunately, I, I had completely forgotten about it. You son of a bitch. It, it's, yeah. it's it nothing. comes and goes like a fart in the wind. This show, yeah, yeah. this show's like has no momentum. Nobody's talking about it. Oh, it's not that memorable. That's kind of the issue. Absolutely. Short round's okay, yeah. but that's about it. That's like the only thing that's worth. I don't think he was even in this episode. Nobody's even talking about that. I haven't watched this week's episode, and so if he's not in this one, I have no reason to. There we go. And we will talk about it. But let's introduce our guest, shall we? In in record time, 28 minutes, 5 seconds, 6 seconds. Carl Benjamin. uh, Still not monetized on YouTube, right? Yep. Totally true. That sucks. Why you jealous? It's our god of a god, ladies and gentlemen. Legend. Thanks for being here, man. Dude, it's a pleasure. It's always I always have, a pleasure, Jesus. I still find I it crazy that, that I, dude. I I remember when when I was like, my channel was just growing, and Sargon showed up in my chat one day, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why does this really guy know of my existence? <laughs> and I'm still like, can't believe like that we stream with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't made videos in a year and a half. So. <laughs> well, Jeremy, you know how sometimes we go to zoos to look at dumb animals just because it's entertaining. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Yeah, that's, that's, harsh. I, that's the nicest thing Ryan said to me all day. Seriously. <laughs> Whether online or offline. <laughs> so. I am craving pellets right now. <laughs> and I'm flinging shit everywhere. So, <laughs> yes. I get it. Uh, well, yeah. Are there any animals that just say the N word? <laughs> yeah. Humans. I'm sure, there's some parrots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see the TikTok where that, that guy thought he'd do a great social experiment and he he went into a fucking mall or something. Yeah. And he put a sign over himself saying, the first person to say the N word with the hard R gets a hundred bucks. And this guy literally just walked up to him, said it, took the money. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, I mean, free money. Great. Uh, yeah, Great. it's hundred bucks. I'm you taking know? that. Yeah, easy. Hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. R.I.P. Harambe. That's right, chat. R.I.P. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, no, he said no, it. no rumble today. That's the road protocol. I guess we could have done it, but uh, I just I actually hadn't thought about it until because we can do the code straight through Streamyards. I'm like, God damn it, I could have done that. Oh well, next time we'll do unlike it. the Roman Empire. Uh, Streamline. We're on the road. Uh, you know. Yeah. Progress, not perfection. That is uh, that is our motto here, and uh, we will never achieve the perfection. Uh, so we, yes, we watched. I watched Loki last night. I actually forgot it was on, and then I was I was like laid in bed. And I'm like, oh, sh- I can watch Loki. So I watched Loki, 
put me to sleep. Um, <laughs> Jonathan Majors, I, I saw people like praising his performance on Twitter. <laughs> and I'm like, on, on this dude, episode? On this episode, dude. I was going through Twitter and they're like, that was a tour de force. I'm like, what? Are these that bots was, or actual what? people? That was embarrassing. I it was absolutely embarrassing. I don't see about this show at all. I don't Dude, see it's, I'm going to link something embarrassing. Okay. So, so real quick, <laughs> uh, not many people are talking about it. It was an embarrassing bottle episode. He stutters all the way through it, and this thing goes full MCU by the end. Just, like, hang just on. Just, just, on just a he- FYI, you screen share, you need to hit it to where it shows all of us on the side. There you yeah. go. All right. You see th- this, right. This allegedly is 40.3K trending posts of Loki. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Done. Wow. Hmm. That's 40.3,000. 40, wow. 40, thousand. You click that trending. I wonder yeah. why Elon wants to charge a dollar a year for. Because that, that just looks like that post and replies and related thing. Well, this oh, it could be, could be actually, yeah. No, okay, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. Sorry, the reason, yeah, sorry, the reason I clicked <laughs> yeah. this one. No, 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 wait. There is a reason. There is a reason. Look, <laughs> yeah. right. look at the, look at the style of this. Hashtag Loki. Okay. Caps locks emoji. Scroll down, and then you get uh, not them. Where's same the other person one? right there? There, there was the yeah, hashtag Loki line emoji. And then there's another one that's done in exactly the same style, if I can... Uh, no, yeah, that's the same one. There's another one as well, which is exactly the same style. Loki, then space, uh, enter, then the caps lock, line, line of nothingness. Image. You know, like, oh, they're so amazing together. Then emoji at the end. And it's just like, this really looks fake as fuck. Wow. As regards to um, if you can if you can get a million bots on the platform that constantly reply to every tweet you have with the same exact that? porn actor going, hey, follow my OnlyFans, <laughs> you could do this. <laughs> I think he's a, like, hey, how many views did that one get? By the way, I can can't see it. It was five oh, point three thousand uh, no, no, no. views. Five point five, five million million. million. <laughs> 18.1k but look 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 uh here you go loki yeah, same. this is everything to me and then you go to here loki da, 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 one line it, and uh, it's just like who again, these look. people are right these are yeah, people yeah. who are fucking they're like 23 years old they don't know what their gender is uh <laughs> they don't actually spend money same. on anything they're on their parents same. disney plus account stop, uh, uh, they, stop there stop there go back what? up go back up right go back up a little bit right okay this this one i can't read the text but like the pictures uh like this is exactly what I think the fucking problem is. Like, look at the middle panel. Remember when Loki did fun stuff? Remember when he <laughs> yeah, was a yeah, god yeah, yeah, yeah. doing yeah. god stuff? Yep. Wouldn't you just rather watch him do bureaucracy in a dirty suit? Wouldn't that be way better <laughs> entertainment? Way Maybe better. we can have him talk to someone and another bureaucrat over here. What about the guy managing like the weird space garbage? You know, mm. like, like yeah. Loki used to do fun stuff. That was what the character was, and they put him in a fucking office. Like rip what people's eyeballs for two seasons. The, the, god of, the god of mischief is an assistant <laughs> detective in like <laughs> some really no, shitty he, fucking police department. He even <laughs> said, I'm not even a, an employee of the TVA. So what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love the way he's working for like what sounds like a yeah, government look, department. They sound like they give out bloody licenses. Right, and they, I mean, maybe they do. Uh, I, I can't remember anything about the program. It's the same it's, look, shit over go, and over. Another, exactly. It's, it's, it's like it is like bots. It's like absolute bots generating bullshit. I, yeah. Those are just those are the only remaining people in the MCU fan base. Are they are. They will right? remain. Anna, Loki spoilers. <laughs> Loki, they, them who line, remain. line, 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 line. <laughs> yeah. Something bullshit. Then you go down. Carol, Loki spoilers. Line, 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 line. Something bullshit. It's, it's the, it's, the it's lines the are so function. that they don't show the spoilers. I know, but it's exactly the, the same. Yeah. You know, it's the, the format are always the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's just like a bunch of uh, hey, different bot accounts. I'd Thank like to do a, I'd like to do like an in depth like investigation on some of these accounts. Hmm. Like how how long have they been active? How long have they been around? If did they change their content posting at any point? Like were they we originally a? 
a Loki, and then they switch to a Wand Division, and then they switch to a Marvels it, now, and then they go back to Loki. Like what's that their is posting? what they do? But I, I just I just think it's a waste of time, effort, and energy to pretend like it's just yeah. being made up or something. When the reality is. The shows are failures. We know that they're failures based on the numbers they get put out from Disney themselves at this point and even from these third-party services. They sat around and tried to blame shit on bots or that's why this review is bad or whatever. We don't even need to do that because the reality is there could be a couple thousand people that go around post 50 times a day and are obsessed with these things, but it doesn't matter overall. Actually, because yeah. To that sure. point, like the She Hulk sure. situation. Fun, she Hulk. Remember yeah. She Hulk? There, there was these fan accounts that had no followers and had 50, mm -hmm. 60, 70,000 yes. likes, and it to, literally to Ryan, did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. To Ryan's point, it's actually worse uh, if it's people. If, if Disney was out there hiring a third party company, which I'm sure they do, which I'm sure every company does, uh, to create uh, like this false popularity out there that's at least them trying to win uh you have 20 year olds who are creating other accounts for free to try to push a show that they're not even like they're watching it on their parents account or they're fucking ripping it off which doesn't even count as a view so you're not helping your show at all and let's keep in mind that samba i i, I asked you this morning ryan i'm like where's the yeah. first episode uh numbers from samba tv they're usually out by now like we're we're well into it and they haven't said anything uh, which I think says it all. And then nobody's watching it. Nobody cares. Yep. Nobody cares about the show. pretty low. And uh, it, it's interesting that there's this book out right now that we're all scouring over. It's it's kind of a tome. Uh, but uh, we're all scouring over, and everybody is just piling on Marvel right now because it's done. And they, they've admitted it. They came out and fired everybody from Daredevil practically uh, and, and started over after having eight finished episodes. That cost $100 million probably at least. They just shit can all of that. Uh, so that's Marvel admitting failure. Uh, and Deadpool 3, by the way, did get delayed, even though Games Radar said it wouldn't get delayed, but then they later said it did get delayed. I thought they so, already announced uh, it was getting delayed. <clears throat> yeah. They, yesterday. I thought it was before that, though. Yeah. I thought it was like a, no, like a month or no, so ago. No. A couple months no. ago, they came out and said that they expected the actor strike to end in time for them to get it done. But like, even that would have been really pushing it. Because they it's still have really stuff. They were actively working on it. Ryan Reynolds and like, Hugh Jackman were on set doing shit when the actor strike happened. So. Wow. Everything's getting, uh, uh, it, it, you know, uh, we'll talk about the strike, but uh, Disparu made a great point. Like they, they've, they've haven't, the, the actors haven't had pay for six months and this thing they levied at the end is nowhere going to make up for what you have lost. Uh, and they, they just halved everything in Hollywood. Everything's been, it, it's, that's been, that, that's not even a rumor anymore. That's been going out in the <laughs> trades that they've had everything. Uh -huh. um, Sorry, dude. And then George just... Clooney. Oh, Clooney. Oh, Clooney. Oh, Clooney. He still looks good. He looks, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looks, he looks <laughs> phenomenal. He looks phenomenal. Yeah. Let's, we want to stay on Loki, so we'll, we'll get back to this. I don't know who popped that up there. I, I, I have X ray Gary, girls in the background. Gary's lagging so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so going. I'm going. By the way, I'm on one of those Loki Twitter accounts. Mm -hmm. Every single tweet, and there are hundreds and hundreds, and it's all just something Loki, 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 fucking Mobius, Loki kissing another man, and the profile, uh, Loki, the profile Loki, photos are lo a Loki. Too. It's, uh, I just find it, I find it really interesting because that what that does, what it used to do, and I think people are waking up to that, is it used to build this fake world where people think that there's interactions and hype for a movie or a project that's coming up that doesn't exist, and it used to actually get people hyped. So people would be like, so many people are excited to watch WandaVision. So many people are excited to watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go watch it. Well, it, it used to work, but then people actually watched those shows and went, oh. Well, I think the other thing, too, really when Elon like took and over. And it happened like eight times. When Elon took over, he banned most of the bot accounts, and I think that has had a significant has he, change. Well, uh, obviously not all I of them. Because I still more, constantly I get no, no, I, I do as well, yeah. but a, a lot of the bot accounts that were accounts. stealing for these shows have basically gone away. 
I mean, I, I love what Elon's done with Twitter overall. I have, still have criticisms. I see more bots in my replies than I've ever seen, but I know yes. he's done a good job of getting rid of certain types of bots, right. but I still I have a lot of porn bots. bots than anything. Yeah, yeah. I've and, seen Especially in the Anna's DMs, it, more so than anything else. Star Wars girl, by the way. I've seen like Anna or Carol or Catherine or Megan, yeah. and it's just like constant Megan 612444, four, four, four. Yep. Megan yeah, yeah, 6849, yeah. and it's just but, there, same yeah. picture, same account, just dumped every but those are, those are, those I get none of those ads. <laughs> why, why do you get so many of those? <laughs> like, I, look, I, I go, think you're a friend of the AI. AI. That's those are individual like, porn bots accounts, but to uh, Comics Point, there is a lot less of the kind of overall big-time bot fan accounts than we used to see. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I, I, no, I disagree. Do you know why I disagree? Because now that it's been monetized, we just get human bots who are just trying to <laughs> bot out we the monetization. Yeah, shout, shout out to Ian Miles Chong. Let's shout see, out. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Miles Chong, please. Bot. <laughs> bots. Um, this, I, is Ian, this is Ian Miles Chong uh, ready, ready to do a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there are more ads on Twitter. Yeah, it's, well, and it's really ads, difficult yeah. to scroll through chain like threads and stuff because it breaks it up with ads, and then it tries to take you to other threads. And I'm like, I still want to mm -hmm. stay in this one. Yeah. I barely noticed them. The one thing I do really like about uh, about X now is the community notes because those are really great. Yeah, like yeah. they'll come in and just knock down. It, they don't care. It's like the White House, Joe Biden. It don't matter. They'll come in. They'll give the facts. It's as really long actually as community useful. notes continues to remain as independent as it is, I still yes, have worries yeah. about community notes I, being. I beat, agree, agree. I, I beat a community note on one of my tweets. Did you? It got removed. Yeah, Good. the community note got removed, and it was the hot girl one uh, about the, oh, yeah. this girl. <laughs> this girl's gonna. She's going to try it on with Hawk Girl because she's gay. And it's just like, there is nothing in this comic whatsoever to suggest that the person is gay. Did I? And then I just whacked a couple of fucking images down. It was just like, oh. and then it just got, must have got downvoted. Perfect. Fuck. The community note mm -hmm. got removed. How yeah, it should it work. Is. Like, yeah, power to the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, community notes is, it's basically like downvoting or upvoting on Reddit, right? Like, if, sure. the, if enough people see it and they're like, no, that's bullshit, it can get changed or removed or whatever. But if, if enough people happen to not see it, it might have something that's just completely inaccurate and false. I would say about 95, 98% yeah. of the time, it's probably pretty helpful. Yeah. I, I think overall, it's I, absolutely I, brutal as well. So. Yeah, <laughs> yes. it's very funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Especially on any mainstream media accounts, it's just yeah. always beautiful to see. Or, or Biden's presidential account. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. fucking great. <laughs> Love it. Uh, what they I'm, did to, I'm willing what to they, pay my eight bucks for that, man. Yeah, no, way. what they did to YouTube the other day on that reaction. <laughs> <to a> reaction. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I was completely destroyed. I was like, holy yeah. shit. Oh, right. no mess, Perhaps right. I've treated you too harshly, community. <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful, man. That was that was awesome. Yeah, but like, I like especially know, how they like, notify you too. Like if if a post you liked or it's a, like you liked or retweeted or commented on, it'll tell you, hey, by the way, this post that you interacted with has been community noted. And you're like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think Elon's done a good job. Of, of uh, it's still got a, there's a lot of problems, but it's much better than it was when Jack Dorsey was on. That's for damn sure. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a very low bar, but. Twitter is a it's a different platform for sure. I mean, I, listen, Elon allowed me back on, so I'm not. Yeah, about hell yeah, <laughs> no, hell yeah, right. hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that's good. We just oh, need oh, Alex Jones <laughs> back. I know. Right? Well, when, it, when it comes to the the Marvel stands, who are Star Wars stands, or like these people have existed for a while. I think the biggest problem was that these companies thought that that meant something. They thought that because these people are just churning out these like losers, right? Absolute losers who probably don't spend any money on anything, don't have any money to spend on anything. They thought that that meant something. Paired analytics, interactions like that on social media. They thought that meant, oh, well, we can market things based off this. We can develop successful shows based on this fan base. And they can't. They absolutely cannot. So are, are some of these things fake out there? Potentially. But I think it's much more likely to always give people credit for just they're really not smart, they're not intelligent, uh, than to assume that it's just some big scheme. I think there's probably a couple thousand degenerates out there that are furries with pronouns in their bios that love the MCU enough that every time they see two guys fucking touch each other, they think they Walking. have to be gay. So, exactly. So they'll, they'll tweet 200 things about it. I believe that there's like a couple thousand people like that out there in the world. I totally agree. I, I, I 
we've been saying this about comics and uh, they're trying to pander to the same crowd. It's a crowd that doesn't exist. There is no modern audience. Okay. The Mm -hmm. modern audience still likes good stuff and doesn't like bad stuff. Uh, That's what the modern audience is and what you've been pandering for, what you put so much money into just can't afford you can't afford this crap because the rest of us don't have time for it anymore. Mm -hmm. And now you're in like Marvel's in full on apathy. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean like companies need to learn. I'm just saying like, the like Twitter is such an echo chamber of like a minority vocal like it's a vocal minority. You're a little low, Chad. Mile. You're still a little, little low. low. Yeah. Keep in that way. Keep in, in that comics, way. You are a little <laughs> low. Also. I could yell. Am I okay? <laughs> Please don't. Go ahead. <laughs> I won't know. But no, it amplifies <laughs> these uh, small, you know, hate mob groups that love to dogpile and everything, and then they think, oh, that mo- that's uh, representative of the overall market, and they need to learn that. It does. It is not at all. Yeah. I'm certainly discovering that recently as well. Though. Well, yeah. I mean, I just I, I obviously I've been checked out since basically Obi Wan Kenobi on Star Wars, and I was even checked out before then. But you know, uh, shout out to my wonderful chat for requesting me to watch that dog shit. Um, and <laughs> I haven't watched a lot of the MCU stuff. I'm glad I helped pressure while. that happened. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but I do feel you. like as someone that's not as plugged into these particular these things as much as I used to be, it feels like like it feels like people overall are really checked out on a mass level now. Like obviously we know that the numbers are down, but it really feels like it's hit another level now. And I don't think that they can ignore it anymore. Uh, how how many people they have turned off and the the the. I think, was it you, Ryan? Someone made this point where basically, yeah, it was you today on Daily, I think, talking about how a lot of these activists, they wanted to get involved in something that had relevance. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And, and they, they have no interest in paying attention to Disney Star Wars anymore or Marvel because it doesn't have the popularity that it did. Back pre-Force Awakens and even post-Force Awakens, Star Wars was relevant. There was popularity. So all these activists wanted to get involved in it, pretend they cared because it made them feel like, oh, we're we're overtaking something when something has relevance. When it has no relevance, they don't care about it. And it's why they can't build from the ground up because they know that they can't build from the ground up with their social justice propaganda. So they can't rebuild something um, that has fallen. So they just have no interest in it because at the core, people that identify uh, as something that doesn't exist or people that scream Black Lives Matter, uh, hard work is not in their DNA at all in any way, shape, or form. Actually putting effort, actually putting, uh, you know, things forward. There's a all joke they there. Do, all they, all they, you fuck say whatever you want about that internet. I don't give a shit. To the point being is that uh, a lot of these clowns are mentally unstable and they go with whatever the narrative that the government or the mainstream is pushing out there. They do no research whatsoever because they're looking for daddy government to hand them every fucking thing. They don't want to work for a goddamn, Mm -hmm. they're fat, ugly, and lazy and they can't hurt anything. And now they're just giving up on these properties because these properties don't have relevance at all anymore. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's where we are. It's just nobody that, cares about. They milked it. it they exactly. destroyed it, and then they're just casting off the carcass to the side. I'm glad yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. best. That's yeah. the best possible scenario. If they can run this all the way into the ground because it's completely irrelevant, they will stop making Star Wars, and I'll be happy. Yeah. You, just you know, I, I, can I right. can I offer a different take on that? Right. Yeah. Sure. I I actually think that a lot of what they write is basically projection, which is why we see so many sure. self inserts yes. in yeah. everything mm-hmm. they do. Yep. And actually, I think we might be ascribing to them way too much uh, self awareness and agency, because actually, if you think about these people being born and raised in California and in, in San Francisco and LA and places like that, uh, the, these people now are like you know in their mid twenties, they're what getting into these people? places. Uh, the the sort of progressive writers that we're dealing with who are doing the self inserts right um they i don't think they're actually very smart and i don't think they're very worldly and actually i think they don't realize how badly they're fucking up i think that they've been given constant reinforcement so it's not oh yeah it's not they're deliberately trying to scoop all this out it's that i don't think they can help being as shit as they are because they are really mediocre people 
It's a conspiracy yeah. of dunces. And, I agree. And well, if I agree. any criticism is lumped against them, it's like, well, no, 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 my my, my work is great. It's phenomenal. So it can't yeah. be that it's actually bad. These people must be racist or sexist. Yeah, or yeah, exactly. Atheism They've got like, a convenient way of dismissing any kind of criticism. And you see this in practically everything. Like the, the, the Loki thing's a great example. It's like, where are they? Oh, they're in office buildings. Okay, well, where's the writer? Well, they're going to be in an office building in San Francisco somewhere, <laughs> right? So like all their sensory perception is just being funneled into the things with computer graphics now it's like okay but even then this the, the problems are still the same like they're like well like you know if loki tries causing some trouble well the the security will get him. what the fuck are you talking about the security you know arrest the trickster god are you are you mental but there's no place for heroism in a bureaucratic managerial organization like the sort of thing they personally work in with the looming specter of hr over them all the time and stuff like this so they don't know what heroism is they can't conceive of it mm -hmm. and so this is what they end up making because it's just a oh, reflection yeah. of their really fucking boring I mean, lives. Carl, I think just on that note, just on that note, because I really saw that in uh, Wheel of Time season two, where they went out of their way to make all the heroes morally gray and all the mm. villains understandable. And it's, it really felt like they had some type of grudge against actual good, you know, morality, heroism yeah. and stuff, because these heroes are better than them. And the villains, they identify more with the villains, and so they have to make the villains identifiable and understandable and denigrate and crap on the heroes that, because mm. it was based on a book series, and the heroes are really noble and, and great, mm, yeah. and they had to destroy it all, and I got so friggin' angry, I couldn't stand it. Well, I think you, the key you, point that you hit on... People as well, just a quick thing, you've got to remember yeah. that, like, for you, a normal person, you'll read a book about a good guy and a bad guy, and... The best books are where they fully explore those two yin and yang concepts. So you can understand, even if you don't want to sympathize with the villain, and you you know that you go through the trials and tribulations of the hero. Now imagine if half of your worldview is just cut off because you literally say, no, that's racist, I can't read it. That's sexist, I can't read it, right? So you can't even explore through mythology another person's worldview. And then you're like, right, now write something that people will like. You are You are literally crippled. You are actually hamstrung in your ability to be able to do that. And that's why I think, genuinely, these people are producing just such fucking shite constantly, and they can't help it. Yeah, I think the key thing that you hit on was the lack of worldliness, which is something I think a lot of us have pointed out over the years, that that lack of real-world experience and lack of adversity in their lives has led to shit writing, because a lot of the great writers out there has had some sort of really horrible tragedy or, yep. you know, was it participate in some form of war or whatnot, you know, from Tolkien to, you know, uh, I don't know if it wasn't Stanley, um, I'm totally blanking, Kirby. Uh, they, they've all gone through these like really horrible experiences that broaden their horizons. They've seen the world and how awful it is where modern writers don't. Yeah, yeah they're, they're fucking, their World War II is being misgendered. Yeah, yes. that, that's the exactly. trials and tribulations. That's their 9-11 times a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, no, that's... it's, it's, it's a, Carl, you're not wrong, but it's it's a combination of things because at first, you know, uh, uh, the the foundation of it is bad writing. It's just bad writing. And now, how yeah. did we get to the bad writing? Well, you're right. It, it's a bunch of inexperienced dimwits who were allowed in. But the reason they were allowed in was the new structure that was mandated by a lot of yeah. uh, woman dated. The, the DEI woman dated. <laughs> yeah. So so the structure. I mean, it's it's all ultimately it all sucks. I mean, yeah. we can. We could parse this out and books will be written. We've made mm -hmm. thousands of videos on it. And uh, now they're finding out we can't make money. Now there are some in Hollywood. Now that's where the internal conflict in Hollywood is happening right now. Because there's a, there is an, even amongst people who completely politically agree with each other, <clears throat> they're having arguments now. Like we need to just get back to basics and tell stories. And there's others going, no, 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 no. And they just want to keep on going with this diversity stuff. Uh, and, and I don't think they've learned a damn thing and well, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to get less content. I still think of most yeah. of it will be shit. What, what I love about this though, is that 
you are you're exactly right. The the these people would never have risen to a position where they were given like the keys to a franchise, let alone a single episode of anything, if it wasn't for the progressive DEI, you know, diversity and inclusion, uh, diversity hiring structure. Oh. Right? So like it, it's it's kind of like all of the factors of like progressive ideology have conspired to ruin literally everything you enjoy. Like we did a segment on the podcast today. Harry was talking about it um, about the new Spider Man video game. And apparently, it, it literally just seems like rote progressive propaganda. Yes, yes. Uh. So they expect you to play and just be lectured at yes. the whole time. And I'm like, why would anyone play that? Like, I'm I'm currently playing Medieval Two, Crusade, you know, Crusaders. Uh, so you know, and I've taken control of the Pope, and I'm about to go and blood, make a bloodbath in Jerusalem, right? Yeah. Uh, the Pope is going, <laughs> Man, you're 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 beaten to it. Oh, oh, you you very very timely. Very timely, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> <laughs> like we're, we're gonna sail over there and man everyone's gonna feel the force but Rack i have to play a game that's like 15 years old to have a fun experience yeah. like that you know it's, yeah I, I, one of my uh, one of my friends uh dm me earlier today i, I won't say who they are because i don't want to drag them into this but uh they said are you, are you gonna get the new spider-man 2 looks very pretty and i said i said no i said because all the imagery that i'm seeing coming out is just social justice what you know just wank yeah. And, and I said, I, I just, I'm done. I just, I'm sick of the shit. And they were like, yep. yeah, yeah. I get it. Mary it's Jane, fun. who's supposed to be a supermodel. Yeah, they've done some interesting Very things. Mid. Mary oh, Plain, more like. Oh, Chad could have fixed that with AI art, even. I that's know. Like, that's <laughs> every <laughs> single <laughs> character now. It is sick. It is oh. sick. <laughs> All I saw was like Felicia hey, saying, hey, my girlfriend's my in Paris. And then Morales Mary Plain. Uh, yeah, Miles just being pushed to the nines. Does he have the exaggerated uh, swagger of a of black, a black teen. Oh, yeah. It's, it's programmed in the game, yeah. I, it is kind of strange because I I love the first Spider-Man game, 2018, or whenever that came out for PlayStation 4. I, I love the yeah, game. That shit was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. And I have, like, no excitement for this one. No hype for, for Spider-Man 2 at all. I played the Miles Morales DLC. I thought it was weak. I wasn't a big fan of Miles. I don't know if it's just because he's so involved in it that I'm just haven't been super engaged in this one but it is it does feel like a lot of the messaging has been that even though i've tried to not pay attention to it we're never going to get a standalone spider-man anything anymore it's always going to yeah. come with miles it's always going to be that and eventually they'll probably just use just miles and get peter all the way out so well we got Must into the into the spider-verse which is miles you know yeah yep i didn't but, uh, even see the second into the spy i like the first one though i like the first into the spider-verse oh sleep um, um, um should we is talk about is the Miles Morales DLC called the Miles Morales DLC? Yes. 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 <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the title is, but it's, it's very close. It's Miles it's Morales, like I think. Honestly, it's actually Miles Morales. <laughs> I did just see like one one clip of it, like as both of them were falling. Miles Morales was like, oh no, Spider-Man. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. And he goes, Miles! <laughs> <laughs> Derivative version of me. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Ryan? Should we? I talk was gonna about say maybe should we we should talk a little more about Loki so we just actually you know get oh, out of the really it. Be, I feel bad that we fucking There's made Carl there. watch this fucking thing and then Fuck we're basically him. like, yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> 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 be honest with you, I can't remember anything about it. I just can't remember what happens yeah. in it. I, I'm, I'm so bored. He was, he was on his phone the whole time, like any normal person would be watching this dog shit. Yes. <laughs> because the thing is right so it was we're, we're planning to run another D, D campaign and honestly i was like yeah i could do this instead on my phone rather than watch this fucking really boring show and it was way more fun actually like i i think that the people who made this show the people that put it out the same way we heard with ant-man like a couple weeks ago they were shocked when people didn't like it they thought they had a masterpiece on their hands with ant-man the wasp quantumania <laughs> i think they feel the same way about loki like specifically yeah. this episode I they they like gave Jonathan Majors all this time and attention to like all these extended scenes and sequences. They think he's killing it. He's they think he's doing like scenery. an incredible yes, they think he's doing an incredible job. And I will say, watching this episode of Loki makes me understand why some people thought that him breaking up that fight was believable because that's better <laughs> acting than we saw in this bullshit. It is. Um it it's just it's not. It is fucking theater level of acting. 
off Broadway show. Embarrassing. Somebody who's embarrassing. overacting in every you single look like high a school person theater. who's trying to act like he's a little retarded. He well, looked like a person who was trying to, he thought he had this big, this huge range of acting, which he just doesn't. And it was a bottle episode. Let's not even talk about how they're running through these weird sets. I mean, the first Loki had a much bigger budget. You can tell it was it was a bottle episode, and they wanted to feature Jonathan Majors' acting talent, which he decided to do a derivative of He Who Remains. From I don't know if you guys remember, or even if you don't, it's okay. Uh, his last scene in uh, Loki season one, he said he 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 learned that he like went to like a, clown he, school. He trained as a clown. Yeah. He trained oh, as a clown. Oh God! That's how he learned how to emote. Yes. And also, and also hit women. Hey! <laughs> I didn't see any like rubber chicken flowers. So yeah. when she comes to testify on the stand, did he hit you? Yes, with a custard pie in the face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> then him and twenty other versions of himself got into a tiny car. <laughs> <laughs> I remember was, the honking. It haunts me to this day. It's indelible in the hippocampus. <laughs> he, got, he got mad because I called him Bubbles. He doesn't like it when people dead name him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're halfway through the season, and yes. the universe is still unraveling him. as it started at the end of season Nobody one cares. of Loki. So this is, they still need Nobody to fix cares. the loom. They still need to fix a loom. They're the loom. working on fixing a loom, and they need... They need uh, a variant of Kang, which is Victor Timely, to fix a loom. And he tur it turns out that he was kind of a shyster, but he's not. Uh, and we learn that Miss Minutes is obsessed with him, this little cartoon clock uh, that from the first one. And yeah, and, and it devolves into a girl boss fight at the end. That's yeah. pretty much it. We have Sylvie come back. <sighs> and Ravana <laughs> Renzo. <laughs> I'm just so over it. <laughs> And Sorry, there's, carry on. There's carry on. Scene I, on this. There's scene, I don't think I'm spoiling anything. There's a scene at the end where Renslayer is there and she's threatening to kill this variant because they need to take him back to the TVA. And Loki at any time could use the powers that he used earlier in the episode to make like this seven foot guy disappear into a cage of monkeys or whatever and just didn't use them. Could have used them at any, any time. And they had to wait for Sylvie to come in. To blow her back, which was, I, I just laughed. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. The other thing that didn't make sense was it looked like she was about to kill him. Yes. Like, it, like she's yeah. about to kill him, and then Sylvie blows everybody up so she can kill him. But she doesn't kill him. <laughs> she lets him walk. So but I, she wanted to kill him. So, hey, Sylvie comes in and wants to kill him for me. Cool, right? Uh, nope. So like, is there a scene or a line that explains why Loki can't use his powers all the time? Yes. Or it's ju it's, ju it's literally uh, just the fact that they don't want to write him. Tea. Bad writing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bad, inconsistent writing. It was uh, awful. And and it, it was kind of funny coming off the episode that everybody's like, that was such a great scene together where they were sitting down. You know, Carl, you were talking about uh, bureaucratic Loki. How about him sitting yeah. down at a table? Eating pie, key lime oh, pie, and talking about it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was so great. I, I couldn't forget that scene. I liked it when Mobius said, It tastes so good. And Loki yeah. said, Mmm, yes. Mm. As Loki I, was just <laughs> pushing it around his plate like he yeah, was on a yeah. diet, didn't want to yeah. be rude. <laughs> he eats like an anorexic. I don't want to. Well, that's the first thing I thought of, Chrissy. I'm like, Oh. Can do He's the king of the vegans. We got, him in some, we got him in some tight fucking clothes. He, he probably didn't want to do a bunch of fucking, you know, takes yeah. eating all that pie. I can mm -hmm. get it. Key lime pie is gross. You know who did, though? <laughs> the head of the security woman. Oh, she is fat as <laughs> she fuck. Ate the pie. Oh. <laughs> she ain't passed up a pie. Body positive time cop? No. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, her, and her, her additions to any of the planning is, like, also so dumb. Like, I felt like last season she was just kind of, like, muscle- a uh, big fat black woman who's the muscle that okay whatever but in this one she just adds the most random comments where they're like we can't figure this out we're all gonna die if we don't do this she's like no there's gotta be another way she's the and people are like, and, people, and, then, and then everyone's like well maybe right. we could find another way like, <laughs> it's so fucking stupid <laughs> my she's favorite right. was like <laughs> entire entire realities are getting genocided and she's like those are people 
<laughs> oh, I, I, yeah. I, oh, I love this bit, right? It's like, those are people It's like, why don't you show us some of these people? Yeah. Like, why don't you right. show us some of these things? Like, it's all very remote and abstract. I don't know who they are. I don't care. What are you talking about? Billions are dying. Like, really? I'm looking at a fucking somewhere. screen with a line. They had, to, and they had to add that in. That, this is separate. They had to add that line in because they probably realized that nobody has any idea what's actually going on. I'll be like, yep. yeah. <laughs> so they're like, all right, let's, disappearing. let's add a line from a woman who looks like she would be more upset if her fucking breakfast fell on the floor uh, <laughs> like, and trillions being wiped out. A trillions doesn't even come close to the number that is actually getting genocided yeah. in that scene. Mm. It's an unthinkable number. Yes, it's an unthinkable number of, uh, of, of death. Of Who, living by creatures. the way, wait, Those wait were my chicken wait, wait. and waffle. Why? Why is everybody <laughs> pretending that this isn't Sylvie's fucking fault? Yeah, that is a good point. Good point. Yeah, why yeah. is everyone pretending this is every fucking death is Sylvie's fault? These trillions upon quintillions of hintillions of billions of people who are now dead is because Sylvie killed Kang at the end of season one. That's why. And, and, and Loki's what? She's got a pussy. So maybe. Yeah, and and uh, oh, put up the spoiler thing. I'm Nobody spoil cares. Nobody Gary! cares about no damn Nobody spoiler. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Watch it, so. We don't even it sucks. Care. <laughs> you know, oh, 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 it's sorry, even I forgot. You're gonna let me say the, the spoiler chat, or you want to talk about some AI art or something? <laughs> I was like, talking about AI art, I can if you want me to, Gary. <laughs> Just kidding, go ahead. Don't, don't tempt me. No, I was actually saying I forgot to watch this episode, and I don't feel like I missed out on anything. I like how the I like how the spoiler that, that doesn't need to be put up two for two. covers the only person that anybody, the, any of the audience, wants to look at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be to be fair, now that she's pregnant, immediately a lot of people's eyes, she's not as attractive anymore. Oh, that's not true. Damn. Oh, so old, man. Damn. Come, come Just hey, hey. real. You're glowing. You look great. That's only going to make me try harder, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, you're emotional. I'm sure that'll be more attractive. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Oh, why don't I start yelling about the binge versus weekly model? I, oh. I would also cringe. But yeah, I, I could make a great argument for that right now. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Yes, I would love to hear it. Please, please go. Here's, here's a spoiler, Chrissy. I'll tell you now. People tell women that when they're pregnant, they look more beautiful than ever. It's not really true. People say it to make them feel better. But as soon as you know you can't impregnate someone, immediately like the risk level goes down. And you're like, oh, no, no, just saying. That's I can tell who's not married on this Gary. panel, man. It's one piece. One piece. Those are the spoilers. One piece was released as a binge, and Loki's a weekly. Which one's which one's better? Uh, oh, one piece no. is still better, and but but my argument would be. One piece would still have talked about it longer. We would have talked about it longer. It was stupid for Netflix to release it all at once. They should have released it weekly. It would have been all that really matters is good show. No, it would have been bigger. It would have been bigger than it is right now. Absolutely, because we it would just dominate the conversation. But now it's kind of fading out because they released it all at once. It was dumb. It was dumb. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't you didn't you say it took you like four or five episodes to get into it. That was me. I yeah, said. that's pretty okay, normal so, for TV but that, show. But, but that doesn't, but that doesn't drive the same it. conversation. Then, then that's a lot of people would have checked out untrue. based on you your, just, what you, you're saying. Oh my god! Uh, I'm if just one saying, piece was released weekly, it would be a. What I'm saying is that you don't now. have any data to support that everybody <laughs> was hooked from again. episode one. It. You don't have any data that says everybody just jumped on the bandwagon episode one and would have watched was it every week. On the bandwagon for Game of Thrones episode one, season one. Probably no, they weren't. Uh, As a matter of fact, the bandwagon didn't like really start going until I season remember, three. I, I wasn't even. Four. I didn't even watch Game of Thrones, and I remember everybody talking about Game of Thrones from the moment it released. And I that's didn't start just not it true. Before. That's not true. So, Game of Thrones is a weird one because it. <laughs> Game of Thrones had a ton been, of hype in the beginning. <laughs> no, it did not, dude. I yeah, think it did. Game, it no, Game of Thrones may have been one of the only series we've ever seen that increased viewership every single fucking season. Well, I'm not season. saying yeah. that it was as big as, <laughs> as in the beginning as it was in the middle, but I'm just saying that it had a lot of hype and attention is all I'm saying. In the you know what's well, interesting God. about the first episode? Thank you. Pros. Good job, it's Chrissy. Really shit. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> jumped in. So, so hey, I can't me talk me. about dog shit Loki because I haven't watched this piece of shit. So I'm going to talk about something. <laughs> Gary threw it out there. 
He threw up the alley oop, and I'm slamming it home, baby. All right. I just love how oh, Christy dropped you, the hand grenade and walked off. Me. Thank you very much, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> uh, no, it would. Um, I talked about this with Mahler, and by episode four, there would have been like this uh, groundswell of of hype that would have gotten more people on, and then when it once it finished. There would be the people who want to binge it that would have given it that extra life. That's my whole. You can always binge it when it's done. Like you I can, agree with you that. Can, actually, you, I actually yeah, you can always it, watch it weekly. No, no, if it was binged. weekly, I would have actually. Uh, I would have given. It's a stupid up, argument. You can run. watch it weekly oh, when it's binged. No, it's not. You yes, would have had is. more people talking about about it each week, my and it would have been. You can been still so much every bigger week than it is and now. Review, and you're still going to get a million fucking views every fucking video, anyway, Gary. We all know that. So you could have done a week no, by week. More review. people would have done it. More people would have gotten into it because more people got into it later anyway. When I don't think there's more any people were making videos. That. Now, if you have videos each week, and then like that seventh episode lands with help me and people just go, what the hell? That would even bring more people. I, I, I don't in, think there's any data to support that stranger things is still the biggest fucking thing. And, and, and it's always been this binge model bullshit. There's like no it's, data to support there's that nothing else there. That is, there's nothing the else there. Fucking thing. There's nothing it, else out there that has released weekly. That has been big, it. as big as stranger <laughs> I imagine things. it is. I imagine it's, it. It's well, apparently one piece did better than stranger things. So, and Wednesday. And it's a and it's a binge model. Yeah. So, ev- so the biggest shows yeah, are now, binge models. No, no, but right, but oh, it's on the you, you, you're you're comparing point. binge it's models the, on, on the, the same biggest, most well network. established streaming platform. Yes. So, so it's kind of tough to compare yeah, that so, to that. Uh, One Piece would have finished a couple of weeks ago. But there, that, there that, is a reason so, that Stranger so, Things season four released in two parts, right? Instead um, of just yeah, there was one. maybe I don't know. I mean, One yes, Piece didn't release in two parts. I know, but strain, there's a reason they're doing that with their shows because they know internally that they need to get away from that model as well. It, it uh, keeps churn from happening. It, uh, like You, you want to keep churn from happening, you release your shit weekly. That's why every other streamer is doing it right now. We're still talking about uh, and, One Piece. And Netflix just, just doesn't want to... Ended. We're still talking about One Piece. We're still... It, everybody's still talking about it. You know what? Everyone is not yeah, still yeah. talking about it. Uh, absolutely. No, no. It's fallen out of the top 10. It fell out of the top 10 on Netflix. <laughs> I just uh, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> is that me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're a variant. You're you're a constipated uh, variant. Well, I did. I I I, I don't uh, understand. Time. Just pull this thing back up. I I I, I talk I, about I that. Did, it, it did not hit her. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I did not. I did oh, not. I did, Ryan. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> that was good, Ryan. You, you're in that. Okay. So Loki, Loki spoiler, just so you, you know, I can't tell you who told me this, but uh, Victor Timely uh, dies next episode. <gasps> so that entire so episode you have another, was worth you have another Kang, Way to spoil it. Another Kang variant who dies. And gets, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were <laughs> in dies spoiled. next episode. Well, that's why they say we was. I Kang. told you. <laughs> oh. Oh eight. man, I That's care I so much. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So I, I can mean, I'll blame the person like publicly. An, does he have like an old timey knee on his neck? How does he die? Uh, <laughs> I could go there. Get right? off me, yeah. Yeah. I could go there. Yeah. Hey, I I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I <laughs> cannot <laughs> breathe. I won't breathe. <laughs> Excuse me, kind sir. Please show me that bill. Is that a real twenty? I've displaced my fentanyl. <laughs> Is this counterfeit? It's a constable. Perfect. I didn't do anything. I swear. <laughs> Get in the back of the paddy wagon. <laughs> constable. Constable. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a Marvel summer of love. Hi, Twitter. I thought it was weird to just throw like. Hi, Twitter. Was, wasn't the first year it's just or the fact. first. The the first year she went to was like eighteen sixty something. <laughs> yeah, what, wasn't like eighteen sixty three or something. They went back to initially, and they 1863. just eighteen sixty three is sixty eight, I think. Three okay, so there. like right after the fucking Civil War, and they just tossed this like this book of all this advanced scientific shit into this little kid's window, and he was able to one read. Yeah, and, and to like actually decipher all that stuff. They you know, made him like a black Tesla, I think. Yeah, did 
basically what it was. Bless love. That, See, that that's the show. Been interesting if it was written right well. there. That dead air. That's the show. <laughs> Fuck this show. That's the worst thing about it. It's like not even. There's nothing to like hate. It's just nothing. It's just boring. It's oh, just there, no, it, no there, characters. There's, there's nothing the there. Episode. It's boring. That's the thing you cannot like. It's and yeah. it's it's not like there's a lot of setup or anything. These scenes take fucking forever, and I don't feel like we're really getting anywhere. And yeah. I think you can say the same thing about some of the elements of Ahsoka and things like that as well. It's common with all these Disney Plus series. What flows oh, better, Ahsoka yeah. or Loki? But, but Cross, no, there's better. so much filler uh, in these shows. Because Loki, I guess. Keep you engaged. Like, like, Wheel of Time was the same. There was unforgivable filler. In, and the first three episodes, it basically went nowhere. And it's a, just a trope with so many modern shows these days. It's like, can you not think of anything creative or engaging? No, no, no. <laughs> we want people to talk about their feelings. Come on. Well, like Ryan said, there's several things in the first episode that you could actually expand into a full season of mm -hmm. interesting things. Like, think yeah. if Loki was constantly still having issues yeah. with popping back and forth through different timelines. Absolutely. That could be interesting, you see? But no, instead we have scenes where they just sit and they talk in a dimly lit room or they talk in a lunch room or they talk it like it's or in a boat. Like, I'm so fucking bored in this show because there's nothing to grasp to. There's no horrible... Uh, continuity error there's no horrible uh like, there's just nothing it's just boring the entire well, sadly, they've, had the playbook, they've had the playbook for a while from the marvel comics and they basically just implemented all this shit from that but there's not what i'm saying is like there's not the, the marvel comics right the all new, all different. At least that had something you could go like, look, they're they're gender swapping the the Thor. They're gender swapping this. They're racial swapping this, and they're they're messing up all of the timelines. And they don't care about the canon, and they don't care about the characters. This is like no, avoid. literally, they had the same this is thing in the middle. Yeah, this is sitting in cafes just, talking about their feelings. That's the same shit. It's this it's, is the, the void. Yeah, it sucks. It's the, it's apathy made personified in this show. God, I can't wait for Echo. I'm sure that's oh. going to bring it around. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's be great. Yay, Netflix. Can't wait. Echo. And the Marvels. Oh, the Marvels is good. Uh, at least it's getting shit out. All this conversation around. represents the, the passion for Loki out I know. there. It's Nobody like, fucking it just, it just cares. It represents the passion for fucking Disney Plus dog oh, shit. And the thing is, they know shit. it's dog shit. The, the, I did a video about Mar uh, the Marvels. And they've been passing screeners around. The latest screener was 88 minutes long that they passed around at Disney. And the execs are still like, oh, fucking hell, let's, we need to get this just out, over, and done with. But one thing that came out from one of the execs was, this is the kind of shit we put on Disney+. Plus. That is an executive talking about the fucking quality of content. It's just a, it's just a churn factory, a conveyor belt churn factory. Watching this episode... You got great actors. Uh, it didn't look terrible in as much as, you know, there's cheaper looking shows out there, but there was nothing to it. No substance, no nothing. The characters have no fucking character. And so we're literally watching a bunch of bland fucking boring people saying bland boring shit and doing bland boring shit. But people go, Loki or name or brand. And we're all meant to lap it up. It's dog shit. Fucking streaming and services in general. Most of the stuff on there is just dog shit. We uh we talked about it on, on Real BBC, but <clears throat> Kang was picked over hype from last from season one, and that's from that book. So that it was purely the hype that they decided. Hey, we're gonna make him the center. We're gonna make him the new Thanos. Uh, based on some manufactured hype at the end of Loki season one, which is because you had it, some Stan accounts that were like got all excited and yeah. made fan cams about him, and it doesn't equate to real people. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it obviously does it because nobody cares. You could take the spoilers out. You guys spoil didn't like you didn't like watching Miss Minutes flirt with Kang. Yeah, where did no. that come from? That was random. That was weird. Oh, I, I, I like I want to, and then it ended, and I was like, okay. She looked kind of freaky when she went into that. Uh, that I that think was. that she just got out of a very toxic relationship with Microsoft Clippy, and she was looking <laughs> to do a rebound. 
Maybe. <laughs> what about that Maybe purple? Maybe Chang looks the kind of guy who can grab a rebound. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're saying he, he was just too clingy? Uh, I, guess. I guess. I guess. Here. Does this, does this make you feel better? No. You, you didn't earn it, though. Oh. You didn't earn it. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm going to read a super chat that we're going to talk about Strike. Fuck Loki. <laughs> <laughs> if i can manage to not lag for a minute damn it <clears throat> there we go x-ray girl's probably gonna have to read super chats now it's gone it's gone did it just pop up or go <laughs> it, it popped up, up, and then it went away. Yeah, yeah. as soon as you said everything's good it went away <laughs> okay here it is there you go <laughs> Uh, hail F and T hail fellowship. I want to give a shout out to my baby boy Dante, who turned 18 yesterday. Whoa, uh, nice. raised wow. in all facets. Yeah, congratulations! Nice. 18. My kid just turned 18, too. Raised in all fa facets of nerdity, he turned out to be a great kid with a good set of values and genuinely a good person. And damn fine young man, cheers! Oh, happy birthday, good job. Dante. Fantastic. Okay. Turned out okay despite your father. Oh no, that's my kid. Sorry. Um, and William 101 has gifted 20 neurotic memberships for 100. That's 100, right? I don't have the math in front of me. Yes. I don't. Okay, so uh, the actor strike. I think is it 100 days today? It's 100, 101 days. We don't need to do the math. It doesn't matter. Uh, it was about over. Uh, they had all the big producers. They had the armpit producers in the building. They were uh, working things out. People thought it would be kind of done a couple weeks after the WGA strike. And then they decided to levy, um, depending on who you talk to, uh, 57 cents per subscriber. And I guess, per, is that per every streamer? Did we ever get the answer on that? Am I lagging out again? No, no, no. I can hear no. You. no, we can hear you. I'm more than normal. You can hear me. Yeah, yeah. we got you. Okay, you yeah. guys are lagging out. For me. Okay, you got me. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah. So it was 57 highly cents organized per everybody. streamer per ah. uh, per subscriber. I'm guessing that's every subscriber for every streamer. Probably. Probably. Okay. So that's a lot of money to to levy out, and apparently that money goes straight to the unions for them to work out. Uh, so it sounds like uh, it sounds like extortion, which it is. So yeah, if I was the producers, I would have walked that out too. <laughs> yeah. I would have gone, F you. Screw you. You don't even know, especially when these streamers aren't making very much money. But uh, it, it got so bad that George Clooney and some other A-listers offered to pay higher dues to, to end the strike, which they can't do, by the way. They, they, they can't do. But the fact that that went out there, and it was made public was it kind of shows you that there's a little rift going on with the union. And this is the problem with unions. You have another mm -hmm. boss and now you can't work until they get this demand that funnels money to the union, to the actual union. Um, I, oh, where's the problem? Unions are great, especially with art, you know, especially with things that should be just contract gigs and a gig economy. But uh I, I watched an interview. It was on, it's not film threat. It's the, uh, it's film courage with a, with a writer who thinks they just won. They just kicked ass. They're like, Oh, we got everything we want. This is great. And he said, the reason the WGA got this, got this deal so fast was uh, Netflix had this terrible quarter. They tried to push reality TV on everybody and nobody wanted it, except the problem is Netflix just reported their best quarter almost ever. So, so that was, and they're the raising case. their prices uh, so I, and they're raising their prices. So I, I don't know where, where uh, it, it just depends on who you talk to, but uh, this thing is, is, it's, it's a biblical disaster for Hollywood now. Uh, they, they've already talked about um, if they were producing over the last couple of years or year, 600 shows, they're going to produce 300 now. Good. Half the shows. Good. I totally agree. Good. Good. 41% and, uh, production, decline. Production has fallen 41%, which is it's historic how much money they have lost over these strikes. And 
somehow the writers and it's just the writers and actors. We're not talking about like who, you know, the below the line people, as they call them, how many of them are affected and out of work forever. Uh, they're also, you don't have to pull up this article, but there's another article about Netflix by itself is spending $2.5 billion in Korea to outsource their ass now. So yep. uh, it, it's been kind of funny that they've walked around claiming victory like everybody, and you know, you have to do that as a union. I get it, but uh, it's still not true. And the, the the consequences of this are so bad that you're hearing people like Noah Howley come out and go, you know, we need to make more traditional stuff. <laughs> no, you know, just yeah, good no, stories. Ship sailed. <laughs> no, ship sailed. Yeah, too late. I, I'm over it. I'm over it. You, you spent the last 10 years telling us all we were pieces of shit yep. and expecting mm -hmm. us to pay for the privilege. I hope you will fucking get fired. I hope you will go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. I will not miss you. Yep. 100% mm -hmm. on that. I mean, the question I have, and this is kind of uh, like... Is there any chance in the next five years that we could see Disney have to want to sell Marvel or Star Wars or start brand or, you know, putting them in a deal where they sold the rights to certain things? Do, do we think that's a realistic possibility? Because that's the only way that these things will ever get turned around is if Disney has to sell these assets because they're hurting so bad. That's the only way they get turned around. Are you suggesting that George Lucas could buy back Star Wars <laughs> no, I'm at definitely a not. very, very big discount, <laughs> making him the most savvy that. businessman in all of history? They've kind of I, done this already with IDW, with farming out some of their comic book stuff. I don't see them selling it. Farming stuff out, potentially, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, well, George, personally, no. George is way too old. I think there's like a video Ryan talked about. Uh, no, he's he like, looks, George is he looks too like he's going to die in the next couple of years. Really yeah, he just had a daughter. Uh, yeah, he he's uh I don't I, but I thinking like looking at it from a perspective of just there's no way that Disney under its current structure there's no scenario where any of this gets fixed in my opinion whether it's Marvel, mm -hmm. Pixar, Star Wars because we've seen the executives at Disney talk about the not so gay agenda on camera. We've seen the leaked Zoom calls. These are top executives. Yeah. That are still at the company, they despise you, and so that would be my only interest level in it. Um, because like I am at the point of apathy with a lot of this stuff, I just do not fucking care about Marvel or Disney or any of the content that they're providing. Um, I'm very much happy with a lot of the gaming stuff, and there's woke shit in gaming too. You know, mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, there yeah. is, yeah. um, but there's also a lot of good gaming content out there. Um, but I, I wonder if that's the path, like if they keep suffering and struggling because you've lost such a foundation of the fan base. And now, as we discussed just a little bit earlier, the people that you were pandering to wanted to be involved with it when there was clout involved. And there's not clout involved in this shit anymore. There's none. And, and what you're saying there, Jeremy, about like apathy, right? They have managed to do that to some of their biggest fans some of the most massive star wars and marvel fans they have managed to just systematically destroy such fan base and such goodwill like I i've looked at this right and if i say you know before all this happened wanted to try and destroy marvel and and star wars but make it look like i wasn't intending to do that i could not have done a better job myself than what they have done to just systematically assassinate the legacy characters and the goodwill of the fan base. It, it's honestly impressive what they've managed to do with what they had when they started well, out. And that's a good point. I've made that point recently because I was talking about some of this stuff recently with like that weirdo article on bounding in the comics from uh, the, the geeks of color person who basically called yeah. everybody sexist and, and all this shit and, and racist and white supremacist or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, to be fair, to be fair, Disney set out to do one thing with Star Wars, to destroy George Lucas' Star Wars. Now, they wanted to make their own version successful at the same time, but at the core, it was all about moving away from George Lucas's Star Wars, and not because I think they had an inherent problem with George Lucas. It's not that. It's just that they wanted their own stamp on it is, is why. They wanted to create it whatever vision they wanted to create for it. But the first goal was that we have to move away from the old Lucas vision and the old toxic Star Wars fandom because um, we need to create our own version. And that's why you had a new Han Solo, which again, I've said, uh, Alden Ehrenreich's Han Solo, the, the intent behind that was to make that the definitive face of Han Solo moving forward. So in 10 years from now, 
you know, kids that have grown up, they see Alden Ehrenreich's picture of Han Solo and they know th nothing about Harrison Ford's Han Solo. It's the Disney you know, version. And then that, but that all failed miserably for them. But they were successful in killing off George Lucas's Star Wars because it's dead. They did a good job of that. Yeah, so, and very they thorough job version of it, too. Yeah. Solo was a, was a, a, an absolute prime example about how Disney don't get Star Wars. Uh, how nobody is that's involved with Disney Marvel from from uh, sorry Disney Star Wars from a, a, an upper position understands who the audience is uh, or what they like about Star Wars. They literally just went brand name, recognizable name. Oh, Han Solo. Uh, people like him because he's rogue. He's a scoundrel. Let's uh, let's do a, an origin story of how he's on his own, and that's why he's called. Solo, go, go fuck yourself, you fucking... And, and, and let's then, put every single reference, <laughs> offhanded reference that anyone ever made about Han Solo in the original yeah, trilogy and, and, and jam it all into one adventure. Off, <laughs> let's take possibly, <laughs> arguably, uh, the most charismatic man in the whole franchise and cast a boring, bland actor with no personality to portray him. Yeah. The response to that failure has been my favorite one so far, though. Ron Howard actually was a class act and was like, you know, I thought we made a good, uh, I thought we made something good. I'm sorry the fans didn't like it, but we thought what we, we, we put out what we thought was good after being brought in to remake the entire fucking thing, as opposed to just shitting on every single person involved uh, that didn't go see your movie because you're racist or sexist. In terms of the actual question you asked, Jeremy, no, they're not selling Star Wars. They're not selling Marvel. The reason is because those things have tangible fucking value in the future, whether it's just like licensing agreements with toy company, like shit like this. Mm. Um, and it goes far beyond, even for making video games, whatever. Now, what they might do and what they've already like expressed interest in doing is selling off some of their other assets. Like, I don't know, every TV channel that they fucking own because mm. linear television is dying. They're looking for partners to come in and do something bigger with espn uh but in terms of those things that they think they can see tangible value in whether it's just like solely the ability to have control over the original trilogy and even the prequels and like distribution rights for those things over the next i don't know 50 years even that has like a lot of tangible value to it that i couldn't see them selling it well, a lot I guess, less like uh, oh, my so i mean okay so let's look at this from a standpoint of like how much is what do we think Disney Star Wars is valued at right now? Obviously, George sold it for four billion. I think he undervalued it. I probably gave Disney a sweetheart deal, probably, but I don't know what it, I think is probably still very valuable for for the company from a standpoint <laughs> like that. So let's just assume it's worth five billion dollars. OK, Um What's stopping a crazy Elon Musk style purchase of like coming in and overvaluing Star Wars because like. It's not like any none of the powers that be wanted Twitter to sell because Twitter was a political machine that was mm -hmm. utilized for a, a lot of different va uh, things to uh, help a lot of the left wing propaganda. And so Elon Musk coming in there and throwing out what was it? 40, 50, what did he pay for it? He, about 46 billion dollars. Yeah. And I That's think he overpaid insane. significantly. Yeah, there's not another yeah. human being on the planet that would have done that, but Elon Musk did it because he saw an opportunity. Star Wars is the most impactful IP of in, in all of was, our lifetimes. Was, uh, well, I'm just saying yeah. overall, though, it just is. It's the yeah. it's the biggest IP. Cinematic IP, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, yeah. So is there some crazy billionaire who may come along one day and want to pay Disney $5 billion and they can't turn that down? Maybe. And no one expected well, Elon Musk to do that. What do you do with that? That's though, a little though. bit different question than do you think Disney am, will sell any of these IPs? Rather well, than again, like, do you think some crazy person like one in a billion chance will offer them way more money than it's valued for an IP and they turn it down? Oh, and, and if that happens, that's the to me, that's the only way that that can. But what I'm saying, the company being in bad enough shape to have to look into these types of offers and that they could be in that direction because again, the thing that has never been a question is the theme parks and don't get me wrong and let's not get it twisted we're not talking about ghost towns here okay i live in orlando all right people are still going to disney world it's not a we're not talking about people aren't going to disney world they're just not going at the crazy numbers that they were it's almost like when netflix was struggling it's not like people weren't subscribing to netflix it's mm. just that that massive you know number that they were once at so disney's overall 
uh, numbers are still good, relatively speaking, but they're not where they were and they have to make adjustments. But the fact that the theme parks are struggling and the movies are struggling and the Disney Plus is struggling, this is becoming a huge problem for them. So I'm just hoping that at some point in the future, they have to move off one of these big properties from a company standpoint to, to get things back in order. And it's wishful thinking. But for me, I don't give a fuck what they do. I will never, yeah. ever have interest in Star Wars again as long as Disney owns it. I just won't. We're in pretty unprecedented times at the moment, though. So who knows, right? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of stuff that yeah. has happened that nobody thought was going to happen. So the idea that, like, you know, Jeff Bezos is like, you know, what? I grew up on Star Wars. I yeah, Star Wars. exactly. Guys have fucked it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it up and guess what? This is gonna be great. It's really not off the table. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'd have to Lord see of the Rings happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say they have a few but, but, failures. But his there. idea. But his idea. point. But his point. His point being, you know, and and, and you never know. I mean, again. Back in 2020, I'm not trying to be political. I'll do that later on my Cobra Cash show. But back in 2020, I was very like, just like, shit is fucked up, man. Like, what mm. happened on Twitter? You couldn't have convinced me that in 2023, we would be sitting in this situation where Twitter has fundamentally changed and Elon Musk bought it for you could not have convinced me that was possible. And I was looking at what happened when Trump was banned and how people were banned all over the place for having opinions, the COVID situation. And to think that we're now three years later, it's really crazy that Elon owns Twitter at this point. It really is. And could that happen in the entertainment world? Yes. Will it? it Probably it no, but it could. It it affected everything across the board, the COVID situation. And what we need to call the COVID situation what it was. It was the COVID response situation. That's what it yeah. was. That's yeah. what ruined San Francisco. That's what's ruining Hollywood. That's what's ruined so many things was the COVID response. Uh, and now, like, these repercussions, you know, inflation's going up because they printed a bunch of money. Uh, they stopped making movies in Hollywood for a for a year uh it's going to affect theaters again because they've stopped making movies for six months so theaters are going to start closing again uh they're not going to get bailed out this time so we're th these repercussions we don't even know uh like how bad it's get like it had to get so bad on twitter because we got lied to so fucking much that elon we had a crazy billionaire come in <laughs> and actually wanted to buy something that he thought he could make money off of but he also felt like like something needs to change and we and, and now you know seeing twitter community note youtube is oh wow I just <laughs> community note of the white house with each other i saw them fucking roasting each other yeah community <laughs> noting the white house like that's what it's supposed to be that's what it yeah, was always yeah. supposed to be yeah. so we're like it's it's nice to see we're so far away because we had one crazy billionaire uh co go up against the bond villains and i was I talked to my wife last night. It's like we're we live in a world of fucking like real life Bond villains. The problem is, if we had a real life Bond, he'd work for them. That's the problem. <laughs> Sadly, yeah, <laughs> it is, man. It's 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 a wild, wild situation to watch all this play out. But I'm just saying that I, I the the more Disney struggles on the the overall uh, business structure, the the more that it could be possible. Maybe it's wishful thinking at this point in time. Um. But yeah, the the idea of Jeff Bezos buying it, and then the, I immediately thought, eh, things of power. Yeah. We certainly <laughs> live in a world where anything is possible at this point, but I'll believe it when I see it. Jeff yeah. Bezos yeah. bought Lord of the Rings, not because he loved Lord of the Rings. He didn't give a shit about Lord of the Rings. He wanted to comp he wanted his own Game of Thrones. That's all right. he, he, he wanted dumb. a vanity project. Uh, yeah. And that's what the, the two biggest streamers, the ones with the most liquid right now, are vanity projects, are, are Apple and Amazon. And that's what's got Hollywood the most scared is because they could just abandon these van vanity projects and it wouldn't affect their bottom line at all. It'd probably be better for them because they're losing yeah. tons of money on these things yeah. right now. It's sad when the tent poles are the ones that don't really care. <laughs> yeah. It's not like the main streamers. It's crazy. Well, it shows how small Hollywood has gotten. Jeremy, you're bringing up gaming. The gaming industry destroys Hollywood. It, oh, it's not even close. No, it's, it's not it. even close. It's not even close. Not even I mean, in the same realm. No, it's not. Gaming is so much bigger. And 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 the thing about like the Hollywood side of things is like because there is like there is a Hollywood, there is the Hollywood narrative that is kind of overarches all of entertainment. There's still good entertainment out there that you can find, but there's this Hollywood kind of 
you know, vibe and feel to everything. And there's people like that control uh, who works in Hollywood and who doesn't. Um, that's not how like, like gaming does have that to it to some extent, but it's not anywhere near that uh, in terms of mm -hmm. there's a lot more independent, like independent mm -hmm. games yep. get a Indeed. lot, a lot of yes. traction, whereas independent films, don't, don't have that type of reach or anything. Chris indie games are huge. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it was Chris funny. A, co a couple months God bless ago, God Steam. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A yeah. couple months ago, our friend Dan Vask, you know, he couldn't believe it because he said, "Woke, woke, the woke <laughs> agenda has finally come for the gaming industry." <laughs> and I just wondered if Carl had any thoughts on that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all knew this day was coming. Okay, we all knew we couldn't keep the barbarians from the gates forever. <laughs> I like how Ryan responded to dance since welcome to like 2013. Or yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, if you hear this or, game called The Last of Us Part 2, maybe some <laughs> woke activists will come for metal and Dan will notice. Who knows? Don't worry. Ne Neil Druckmann's about to give a speech at the Game Developer Conference. So he, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he can put this all to rest. Yeah. But yeah. seriously, though, like the fact that they've been trying to overtake the gaming industry for so long and have failed because most gamers just won't have a bar of it and their base yeah that gives you hope it's like well it does it's the developers that uh, it's the same it's the same thing as hollywood it, the audience well, is the same audience they don't want this garbage in there but the developers will still put yeah, it in there i i don't mean to be dismissive of filmmaking because clearly it is a very very tough thing to do with something i would not be able to do but Making a video game is a much more integral and talented thing than making Loki with a bunch of woke fucking weirdos. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, it, you can't just find some <clears throat> some blue haired land whale to make a video game. That's just not how that works. So it's <laughs> well, a lot more. You can, but well, no you can't. Can well, you can. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. also a lot easier for independents to compete in gaming yeah. than it is in mainstream yes. film production. And because stuff. of the, so the when, well, black. There's no unions, or there's not a lot of unions, and uh, yeah, I agree. Right, right. And when when a studio goes off the rails, well, gamers mostly just say, "Screw you." We got all these other cool games that people are making. We can well, use that. well, yeah, like it is. It's such a crazy thing. Like uh, there was this racing game on the Nintendo Switch that I found and I bought for like five bucks, and and I liked it. It's so fucking simple, but it was just so cool. And this is like a couple of years ago, and I ended. I liked it so much. I ended up tweeting out about it. And the developer responded to me, and it was wow. one guy who private messages me because I was like, because it didn't have online multiplayer, and I was like, what? What is it gonna take, bro? I'll put a crowdfunding campaign if we get online multiplayer and little stuff like that is super cool because it's like this was just one guy that just made this game. He had it uploaded to the Switch eShop. The Switch eShop is flooded with independent titles that you just probably never heard of unless you're searching them out. But in reality, they got a pretty big market. Obviously, right. Steam. Um, it's that in, it's it's that lack of structure keeping that from happening. So uh, to to circle back to use a term that Gina Carano doesn't want us to use anymore. Uh, to circle back <laughs> to Hollywood real quick and to go back to George Clooney and his gang of whatever uh, going to the union and risking making the it, this makes the union look bad. By the way. And that they all had to make like really nice speeches like, oh, we really liked that George Clooney came and kind of fronted us during a strike and offered a solution to, to keep us from getting money. Uh, it was a great suggestion, little Georgie, but uh, it was it was bad. It was actually really fucking bad. But uh, you guys were talking about it earlier, the, the, the DEI regulations, the Oscar regulations, Hollywood could absolutely make stuff that people likes they 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 they're nothing is stopping them except themselves like they are unwilling to make a, like make a perfect fan you can make a fantastic four movie that would make a billion dollars it, it would be pretty easy uh you base it on the comic book you make them look like the fantastic four and you find a director and a writer who might know a little bit about the fantastic four but you can't because you that racist? writer uh, well <laughs> That's a given. Uh, but you, why, you, why do you want to? Why that. do you want to make a, a show, a film about four white people? You fucking bigoted piece of shit. Well, one of them's Jewish. Okay, jeez. So white. Jews are still white. Jews are still white. That doesn't Topical. count. People don't count that. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. It's hard. It's to know. Jew was a color. About that. I, I'm sorry. My my, really my ideology radar uh, is a little but bit. No, weird. it's. Because that that writer now has to bring on somebody from uh, that's that's uh, mandated 
by some diversity officer. By the way, Disney, uh, re- they filled their diversity position. Uh, yes, Ryan, did. you didn't get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, they didn't accept oh, that. I'm sorry, man. Because I wasn't black. Oh, no. <laughs> Female. And those, all, all those positions are filled by black women. Well, I, I wrote a letter of recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw I somebody, dis- disavow. somebody in the chat was asking me what game I was talking about. It's, I had to look it up. It's Total Arcade Racing. I think it's on PS oh. uh, in as well. Total Arcade Racing. Total top-down racing game. Very simple. Fun as fuck, though. I haven't played it in years, so, or about a year, so I'll have to check it out. But there you go. But back to racism. Let's go. Well, I feel like uh, in the video game know. field, there, there's a similar... Uh, how our audience to pop culture movies and TV... Are are kind of waking up. Just the general audience, the normies, right? Not to use the pejorative, but the the people that don't have the time to like invest in watching all of the news on it. Uh, they're slowly waking up to this kind of infusion of shittiness. There's a similar thing going on in the gaming space, but it's around the corporatism of these games, of how they're the loot boxes and all that kind of thing. And then also along with that, like Starfield, the the oh infusion God. of the woke kind of stuff, mm-hmm. just like sprinkling in always in these games. And you can kind of look at a lot of the recent games that have come out. Um, Starfield, it's got heavily mixed reviews. Uh, Overwatch 2, po- mostly negative on Steam. So I think there is like a sense in an overall audience of everything that everybody that consumes media, they're kind of waking up to the fact that these people are uh, well, fucking with, with you gaming, and they're making bad shit. With, with the gaming. Overwatch 2, though, um, that that is a very complex issue because that game promised all these things and never delivered on any of them. And in fact, Overwatch I'm 2 saying, yeah. is essentially just Overwatch, but um, you pay again. <laughs> well, well, that's what I'm saying. Say- like the, the things that are bad about the, the, the developers... These massive AAA developers that keep fucking up games, that keep putting in these shitty, like releasing games that are not finished. Oh, like, the like one. there's a new game plus coming to Spider-Man Two at the end of the year. Why? Why would you not Why? just ship it with Why the game? Why is the game yeah. not finished? So I think people are just in general waking up to. There is a great gaming consuming. with gaming. The price tag on games are ridiculously Dude. high. So mm-hmm. why would I buy a crappy game? Yes. That I'm never gonna fully play. Like it's eighty uh, bucks these days for a top game. Remember, remember oh, the meme, that we game, game, aren't you? Every time yeah. Activision Blizzard does something wrong, the meme now is quick. We need to turn an Overwatch character gay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> is there any last as a gamer? Term? As a gamer, I recommend everybody okay. wait like eight years, eight years until the game is out, so all the patches and everything's like worked out. That's, That's what I, I played. It. You still can't Skull Island before. Rise of Kong. I played it too. It's Dude, so and, uh, bad. <laughs> that is a game from 2023, apparently. Dude. Okay, oh my let, God, me ask, it looks let me ask. Let me ask. I have to ask you this because I didn't play Gollum, assholes. but I played. Yeah. I played uh, Skull Island. I, yeah. I, based on what I saw, Gollum looked worse. But which one is worse? Because you played both of them. Uh, uh, Skull Island is worse than really? Gollum. Well, it, it's like saying, "Do no. I? W- which would you prefer?" AIDS or stage four cancer? <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer stage four cancer because at least then I wouldn't be gay. Oh. <laughs> well, what, if it, what if it's ass cancer? It's just what? stats. Oh, it's just stats. <laughs> you two know I didn't make these jokes. Please read my side. <laughs> why did you let Carl on the show? Why did you warn us what he was like? <laughs> uh, Unbelievable. This is just such an abuse of your power, Sargon. Come you on. might not have said so it, sorry. Carl, but we know you were thinking it. That's, uh, that's yeah. enough. You were thinking it. Also, that's Ryan, right. Ryan only said what you were thinking. Yeah. He I would say I would say uh, Skull Island because Gollum, Gollum had ideas which were awful and they were presented in an awful way with bugs galore, etc. Uh, Skull Island is is a one button abortion of a video game is the only way I can describe it. <laughs> really if you want to play a good King Kong game, watching, go play the Peter Jackson King Kong. Yeah, the PS2 version looks PS2. so much better. Yeah, it looks so much better than this one. I, I miss, I talk about this every once in a while. I miss the days, I would say in like 2008 or nine, 
when every piece of shit movie that got released in theaters also came with a piece of shit video game accompanying it and it was Mm -hmm. terrible and it was awful but at least it was kind of fun if you liked the movie Mm -hmm. you get get the video game and play along with it you remember the burger king games sneaky king I never what? played the Burger King. You never game. played the Burger oh. King games. No, in Dude. my town, only poor people went to Burger King. Get out of here! I <laughs> <laughs> had it my way. All right, <laughs> I played those games. They're great. Golden Eye. They're not great. They're the shit. Get, but they're fun. Gary, Gold, I've had a, still the best uh, movie video game adaptation. Yes, agree. Yes, agree. Uh, Gary, I've had a lot of requests for you to play Party Animals with us. Oh, uh, oh baby, that, we that? just throw them off the platform every time because. Bro, uh, <laughs> uh, pick him up. Watch you guys play. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty funny. I'll, it is I'll do it. So dumb and amazing. Gary, we're getting Gary. All right, there we go. Bro, they used uh, to fucking put on these video right. games. I played Re- the Revenge of the Sith video destroyed. games before it released in theaters. Yeah, and you got two the week, spoilers, dude. Two weeks before Revenge of the Sith released in theaters, I had the video game and was playing it. And I'll never forget because I fucking had all my buddies hyped up. We go to the theater and I said, guys, there's this fucking awesome fight between Anakin and Mace Windu. Because that was a whole segment in the game. Yeah, like yeah. Anakin comes to intervene after Mace Windu fights Palpatine and you fight fucking Mace Windu as Anakin. You get in there, fucking cuts off his arm, flies out the window. And they're like, bro, that was it. <laughs> like, I swear to God, it was different in the game. That was a good yeah, the game. I like that game. Spoil the hell out of the movie too. They would come out first. The books would come out first and spoil the hell out of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the but, uh, so uh, real quick, I heard you kind of, t- I was, it was in the background, Ryan, so forgive me, but I still watched and supported and liked. Uh, you talked about uh, Rachel Zegler, uh, who unfortunately is not on the red carpet. This is what we've been robbed of uh, with the Screen Actors Guild. Uh, it's got a movie coming out uh, right after the Marvels. Yeah, you know, after... Uh, after the successes that she's had with West Side Story, which is a pathetic flop, and Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, which up until Blue Beetle was the worst performing DCEU movie in history, uh, her next one, her next big budget film is the Hunger Games prequel. And the box office projection just came out for that. And it's uh, about, I don't know, a 60% drop off from the worst Hunger Games movie that we saw previously. Right now projected at around 35 to $45 million opening weekend. Maybe looking at a hundred million dollar total domestic run, uh, does not look good. Who was asking for this, by the way? I don't nobody. know. Nobody, uh, nobody. Uh, the studio to, to try yes. to make the some more money. The studio asked uh, Susan Suzanne Collins, I think that's her name. The studio asked her to write a book so they could adapt it for a screenplay. <clears throat> so they made a prequel just so they could make a fucking movie. I love prequels. Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prequels are great. I, I, love love refrigerators. Refrigerators. <laughs> I love prequels. I love prequels. Oh, uh, I hope the actors strike in so we can get some uh, red carpet wisdom from Rachel. I'm sure she she's been bottled she's up a be little bit. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh God, it's gonna be I'll wonderful be whenever it happens. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking good now. I think you know Barbenheimer once in a lifetime thing. It was a meme. Uh, it got people excited about going to the movies and we are never going to see anything like that again. That was kind of like the last hurrah. Uh, we've got two years of next to nothing because everything got delayed out six months. And and the longer at this Dune, strike goes on. At Dune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dune was finished. Dune shouldn't have moved at all. No, uh, I think it was dumb for them to move. But uh, yeah. I think, it they made it. I think they're so thinking of the gap. But we they, the gap next to- year. They're thinking of that, and that's why they're pushing stuff to next year because they know they're not going to have content for next year for the mm-hmm. theaters. For the dude, whole the year. movies like going to streamers this year look better, like loads better than anything coming in the theater, maybe outside of Scorsese, right? Uh, but that's if you want to sit through a three and a half hour biopic. Who knows? Three and a half. They, did, they did that with Oppenheimer, but uh, that one's not tracking that great too, and that costs two hundred million dollars. But people love it. People are loving it. It's getting, a lot, like, of, uh, it's getting a lot of good Fincher buzz. Coming out. I want to see the buzz. killers from Fincher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I want to see the people Iron Claw. Good. Iron Claw is going to oh, yeah. make $5 billion. Dollars. Oh, yeah. I want, I, want, I want to see that big time. I think that'll be, that could be movie of the year for like maybe because uh, I know, you know, just from the wrestling angle. I, follow I heard the, ah. the, the Dance of the Dead Flower People. I don't know. Whatever that one's called. Uh, Scorsese one. Uh, yeah. I heard it was like fucking. Boring. 
Killers of the Flower Moon. It, yeah. it, it's getting a lot of praise. I mean, hell, I got I got ratioed talking about Leo's bad accent in the trailers. <laughs> so I got a lot of. What I, I want to see it. And a lot of people saying, very long, very boring, very depressing. Well, yeah, I mean, it's about like. It's yeah. essentially it sounds like it's about mm. some rich oil tycoons who are trying to drive Native Americans off their land or some bullshit. And like it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a movie that's action packed. It looks like it's gonna be No, no, like but I mean I I love something like I love Legends of the Fall. I think Legends of the Fall is a phenomenal yeah. film. And I wouldn't say that was like an upbeat film, but it was riveting and exciting and 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 just you know, very well just beautifully done. And we just tragic Robert film. De Niro drowned I, someone in oil. I, I see heard he the was chat, really, really chat. good. Hang on, the chat's all saying uh, there's a bunch. They're saying it's lagging, it's crashed, but it didn't crash for me. Yeah, so so I know, it's well, Gary, Gary's, Gary's gone, guys. Gary's not that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just a he's just that oh, might no. be. Him. Yeah, <laughs> fifty p. Welcome to Friday Night Gary. Tights. So anyway, Sargon, yes, why don't you I tell us spin. about your channel, Lotus Eaters? <laughs> Ah, Floor is yours, we've got the spinning circle of doom, Jeremy. Wait, we don't have now. Wait. Now, now, now no, promote no, no. your I, channel, I, I'm dude. I'm watching the stream. It's fine. Oh, yeah, it's still going okay. for me. It's fine for me. Mine's, mine's, fine spinning. For me mine's spinning like Tolkien in his grave. Guys, if you can't <laughs> hear us, just refresh the stream. <laughs> Ryan always hates that. He hates <laughs> refresh the stream. Uh, I'm not even running it through my computer. This yeah, is it's going not being run over Garrett. there. What's well, through streaming? Gary, 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 I, I'm Gary. some people Gary. can see Gary. some comments. Yes. Gary, yes, yes, yes. you get blamed yes. for yes. my streams being late, and you have <laughs> no, you're, you're gonna get you're clearly gonna get blamed for your own stream lagging. You're, I've seen Gary blamed for streams that have nothing to do with us because they're five seconds late, and they're like, Gary must be running this. I'm like, they know Gary here. Yes. How the hell do they know who Gary is here? Anyway, it looks like we're back. We hey, I understand Sargon. reality is perception. Perception is reality. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I have to try. <laughs> I was trying to talk <laughs> to, to, to Sargon so he could talk about his channel and his podcast. And then as oh, interrupt. Uh, yes. Of well, no, because it's in still down for me. The stream is still <laughs> down for me. So it looks refresh. like you, it, you're in New Zealand. You're in New times. Zealand. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. Oh, fuck yourself. The floor is yours. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm one of the hosts on the podcast of Lotus Eaters. We cover daily news on the podcast and then upload it to YouTube because we want to make sure that we're not saying anything on the podcast that can't go on YouTube. And that's <laughs> 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 Trying You're times. Smart. <laughs> uh, so you could watch it on the website, but YouTube's probably the easiest way for people who are watching the stream. So go check us out. We are the best news podcast on the internet. Hell I, yes. I stand by that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you've come on to our podcast to say that you've got the best podcast. Oh, best news <laughs> podcast, I said. Yeah, we we're do. Not news. We're not hey, news. We, do, we do news. Yeah. We're, we're, we're barely qualified as a meme <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think we're barely qualified as a podcast. To be we, listen, listen. <laughs> really, yeah. In our entire little sphere of the internet, all right, Gary pulls the most viewers for gaming streams <laughs> that says a lot about us <laughs> as gamers okay <laughs> it says a lot about us as gamers dude it's in your title too geeks I and know, gamers I know it. but yeah. gary could go live play us a retarded game and he can't open the door and still have eight thousand people watching <laughs> jeremy's gonna change the brand to geeks and nerd rotic i'm just gonna start and wearing and fucking coke bottles and act like i can't see and be like where's the door where's the door when i play <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know i love i caught that just say mcu a couple times I just jumped on that stream Miles randomly Ross, and, and it was exactly that moment where gary couldn't <laughs> find the door <laughs> yeah they were telling me the other day they're like get gary to play fucking Titanfall handle too. on it dude it just looked like the wall okay <laughs> it's, it's a button right there press x to open they, they were, my chat me. was like get gary to play titanfall 2 with you i'm like guys he can't open a fucking door Aww. there's no chance hurt myself. Of playing, there's no <laughs> chance of playing titan <laughs> he probably couldn't play animal crossing with my nerdy home and krista at this point he wouldn't know how to play it uh so he's not playing like an in-depth game no doubt about that <laughs> uh, the more no, complex i played, I played it would be <laughs> i played return of the king on ps2 for like an hour and a half uh last saturday it was great good job. Good job. All you had to do is beat the shit out of things. That's all I know yeah. how to do. Talk about another legendary movie video game. <laughs> Two Towers and Return of the King. Those are fucking awesome. Return of the King. That's good. 
Uh, Good stuff. I got a whole gaming room, Jeremy. You're gonna laugh your ass off. I've got like, I've got, I've got Nintendo. I've got PS3. I love PS3. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the Nintendo. I've got arcade games in there. Yeah. Gary, do you play Mech Warrior Five? Okay. <laughs> uh, talk. What about you? What's, what's a Mech Warrior, Carl? <laughs> oh, People in the chat like, hey, go and play Mech Warrior Five with Saga. And I'm like, oh wow, does this? No, you don't. Play. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this game called BattleTech that came uh, around it's forever. It's awesome. really good. That. It is good. Uh, Gary started right. a Witcher Three stream by walking off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> right. Seriously, I'm I'm not kidding. And somebody just said in the chat, remind me, you have got to play the Arkham games on stream. And as was probably going to help you through it, but mm -hmm. but him playing the he's Arkham not going to be able to do that. <laughs> How do I Baby switch to that? Giving Sonic the fucking hedgehog to this man. So I think <laughs> that if you do Arkham Asylum, like if you do the first game, because then you can't like go all around the city. You're pretty contained there. Yeah, you're not yeah. like going above. A it's lot. fairly like, linear. Arkham, yeah, yeah, Arkham Asylum is very straightforward, and still, like, I love Arkham Asylum. Dude, so fucking I mean, so you're gonna have to tell him, all right, press L1 to turn on your scanner. All right, look down into yeah. the left about thirty fucking degrees. Yeah, you see that thing that's glowing? Yeah, touch that. <laughs> look in the direction you are walking. <laughs> we got. We got. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, and then <laughs> hey. the battles are gonna be yeah. Okay, then that triangle pops up and means counter. Hit, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh. Wait, 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 what, what? Wait, where's the triangle? Wait, what? Where's the triangle? <laughs> it's the top one. Wait, what? Uh, what top one? The, 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 it's, it's the trigger. No, not that top one. The top one of the four. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I was looking at it too. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly it. I was like, what triangle? Oh, this upside down one or the sideways one? Or the one that's up, right side up? Oh which my triangle? God. Trying to figure out which part of his bifocals to look through. <laughs> They're progressives, Ryan. Okay. Progressives. But you have progressive uh, lenses? Just wait until like, you turn 40, Ryan. Are you like LGBT guys? Or? Oh, man. That's funny. That is funny. It's funny because yeah. it's true. Yeah, the, it is. So when I was doing Gollum, uh, Mahler and Az were like, "You're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. No, no, cold, 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 cold." cold. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> he's like, like, "Where spent am I?" Two hours, <laughs> or maybe more, and he wasn't even out of the fucking tutorial area. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel positively youthful, to be honest, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Hey, you know, so I'm the gay. You are youthful. <laughs> you are. You're all a bunch of little punks, little wet nose punks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are. YouTube uh, chat. <laughs> uh x-ray girl you want to read some super chats that, like our that, dude i don't know i don't know where stream stream yard draws from right so if it's on your computer but it's using my account is it using my fucking internet i don't even know i have no idea <laughs> no it would be think, their servers i think it's their servers yeah because we're tapping into their, their servers, servers yeah. but hey. like my internet has to be affecting it it has to be because it's such shit right now uh <laughs> So, extra oh, girl, you're gonna have to read the super chats. Oh, I can read. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, not another dime has gifted twenty nerdrotic mm. memberships for a hundred dollars. Yes, very nice, very nice. You got a shitload of dimes. That's a lot of dimes. You read that like you're the host of a fucking discount. Like game I'm trying show to copy something. Gary. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so boring the way I usually do. Um, Willis for a hundred dollars says. God bless America, X ray girl. All right. There you there go. You That's go. for you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what that's referring to. <laughs> uh, that's your parliament giving you a standing ovation. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we have Roland the Wretched next um, on the Streamlab side for $100. Uh, I think Ryan has finally found his perfect match. He spent a good portion of the week belittling Will Smith and Chris Rock so he could get Jada. This <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> this no. should have proved Tupac's he is not a racist. Mate. What? Tupac's soulmate. Tupac's uh -oh. soulmate. Yeah. 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 Look like Tupac. mm. I want to be more progressive, so I want the bald black bitch. Um, <laughs> I, I, want, I want to get hooked up with Jada Pinkett Smith. My, I really I was going to sneak up and ambush her and like surprise her in the secret sex room. So I asked Will Smith, hey, do you know where that room's at? He's like, never been there, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a secret room? <laughs> uh, this should have proved he is not a racist while still being gay because, you know, Jada definitely has a dick. <laughs> Why is there a secret sex room? How, kids, how the fuck do you think you got here, man? Secret sex room. <laughs> Well, I think it's the room that's secret, not the fact that they're having sex. <laughs> Everyone knows she's having well, fucking sex kind of with other people. Price. Just not with Will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with Will. Yeah. It's a secret with Will only. It's, it's just for some Oh, friends. that's just hot. Fun. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of love, Az has been professing his love for the ginger of Nottingham in hmm. Robin Hood. The next big reveal will be the ginger will be packing sure wood. <laughs> <laughs> she was she can't they made her a dominatrix in this episode. She last episode. Like dominatrix. Yeah. Not 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 even that way she took her shoes off that and then she kicked explains it a lot, actually. <laughs> she she got one of the policemen. Honestly, I shit you not. I'm not even fucking joking here. She got one of the policemen. To get down on his knees, and she said, "You want to be led around by a leash like a dog." What? And then, and then it cuts away to another scene. Comes back, and a policeman walks into office, and they're getting dressed after they 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 did the fucky fucky. Is he wearing a thing. dog mask or something? Uh, that was the only thing that you didn't see, but you know that there's weird shit going on now. Well, that's our military now. So yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. Canada. Oh, and they made they made an anal sex joke this week to go with the fisting joke from the week before. Outstanding. Well, what was the, the joke? Was the, funny? the jokes are put in really good places. Like <laughs> in the second episode when they made the fisting joke, they were talking about Robin's mum who's just become a paraplegic after being shot by the police. Ah, she went and the guy went, it. she got she got fisted, and then they all went, <laughs> Oh, but this show's for kids, guys. It's for kids. Yeah, it's the show for kids, which is on at 10 p.m. on a Wednesday night in Canada. I don't mind a tasteful uh, anal sex joke every once in a while. <laughs> the, the yeah, we had a for six-year-olds, yeah. Well, Did you really it, have to put it like, like that, Ryan? A, we, we, the a joke was, <laughs> we need to hack into the system, but we need to actually be on site to do it. And they went, not necessarily. I'll create a hotspot. We can attach the hotspot to, to the system, and then you can uh wi-fi your way in and he went yes uh i could access the back door because that's the terminology and then he went ha, 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 ha. back door oh i see that's what it's like so gonna go well you got any lube for that like you just need a little you know, something you need a connective tissue for that joke oh that's a bad uh, 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 like uh, that too <laughs> they, did do a, they did a viagra thing where they said we need to make sure that we get the right we steal. We steal because they're thieves. Dirty, stinking thieves. They're robbing. Uh, we need to steal the right medication. The last thing we want is to go out with a truckload of Viagra. Bro, you could sell that for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I mean, I'm by. I mean, I, I mean, I, somebody. <laughs> Somebody, yeah, somebody, oh, especially on the somebody, black market. Me, you know, obviously. a customer base. <laughs> what is what you're saying. Somebody <laughs> would be interested in buying. Uh, clean segue from the anal sex jokes. Um, I got right to laugh. Fuck yeah. Is Chris, is Chris Gore in the chat? Is Chris Gore I in the chat? Frank Gore. Oh, sorry, Frank Gore. Yeah, you have Gore. to call his real name. One of the Gores? Is one of the Gores in the chat? Okay, so. Um, <laughs> gonna wait Thanks for time. interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry. I interrupted the anal sex jokes. Um, okay. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Probably better. Uh, anyway, well, I wanted to know if I can announce this or not because there's LA Comic Con coming up, which uh, you know people are here are invited to come. We'll see if they do. Tipper Gore, yeah, it's Tipper Gore. Tipper, are you there? <laughs> he does. He, does. <laughs> he should be Tipper Gore for Halloween. Uh, but don't be Barbie. Don't be Barbie, or you'd be a scab. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard, by the way. Um, 
So there are three panels at LA Comic Con. I ain't seeing Chris Gore. So there's th there's three panels at LA. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Barbie banned for striking actors are are given strict Halloween costumes. So they have rules and they can't in Hollywood. What? The uh, members of the the SAGs cannot dress Would up. Just call me the SAGs. The SAGs. <laughs> An actor. The SAGs, the, the Film Actors Guild, the SAGs, um, the SAGs, cannot dress up in a costume of a of struck content. What? Of a what? Struck content. Oh, content mean everything? Basically, they yeah. don't want you to dress up as any, like, recognizable character from anything. Um, Recently or sure. forever? <laughs> I, Does it I have would, to be open source? Like, <laughs> are they are they thinking it's promotional? Yes, they that's what they're thinking. Dress up as Barbie or something? Oh, I don't, I I don't think there's a lot of thinking going on at all. To be I'd honest, I'd say, uh, hey, hey, uh, film film actors guild, I don't have any money. Mm. I can't purchase costumes. I'm good. Okay, you don't have to tell me because I don't have any money. I'll be out trying mm. to get candy because I'm hungry. <laughs> how about <laughs> yeah, or just how about fuck off? When it's got something to do with What's a movie, too? uh, fine. But when you're trying to tell me what fucking Halloween costume I can wear, fuck off. <laughs> That's weird behavior. It is Don't very do that. weird. I yeah, hate I Hollywood. I really do. Yeah, I just I, I, so dumb. And that really is, dumb. Like they're even getting roasted by their own for that one. Uh, Ryan Good, Reynolds said to yell at his daughter for dressing at Barbie. You call her a scab. <laughs> um, it's just, it's oh, so wow. next level, and it like I. I do to some extent would understand them trying not to say if like Barbie was releasing and like right now and Margot Robbie, when is Barbie as Halloween and put up a thing like you could see how a connection like that would be. All right. Obviously you're promoting the movie, but if we're talking about one, that movie came out fucking months and months ago, or even people that are wearing shit from like the Marvel cinematic universe. Oh, well, you know, currently there are the actors are on strike for all these MCU shows. So you don't want to promote that brand. That's, wild and insane and it's really showing how disconnected the people who are leading these strikes are with the boots on the ground i fucking hate unions how is general. barbie considered yeah, yeah. content though because they have not been since the it the actors technically went on strike during their promotional tour so they were not able to promote the movie like right after okay, it came out and while it's been in yeah. theaters um they were able to do their press tours like a week or two before and then they struck yeah, for some reason, I, I thought that movie came up before the strike, but I guess not. Dressing up for Halloween is not promotion. It's, it's This is a tenuous fucking more control. Fuck off, unions. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah it is yep. pretty bad. They just don't want to as Ken. That's what it is. Do we think it's a coincidence? <laughs> that You mean good? the most bait man in the planet. Fuck do we exactly. find it? Do we find a coincidence the that two of the most successful films... Yeah. Yes. Two of the most successful films in, in recent memory uh, where the actors had to shut the fuck up during the promotion. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, Pretty interesting. No coincidence. Yeah, maybe we don't want to hear you fuck say anything. And I know that's not the re, but it's still funny. I, I wish we had had a little more time to actually, because they did a lot of their promotional they tour. Did. Yeah. And it was really like, just like the premiere is when What's his nuts got pulled off of Oppenheimer? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They were at the premiere and they had to all fucking walk off wow. the red carpet because yeah. the actor strike went official. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, I think it it's helping the Marvel. It didn't think affect the, Oppenheimer. Didn't affect Bobby. Now, I, I think that people that are like, well, the Marvels might underperform because they don't have anyone out there promoting it. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, that's why the it's movie. I, I think it's a positive a net positive for them to not have all the women involved with the making of this movie out there talking about how stunning and brave it is to have an yeah. all-female movie I like, we're gonna avoid another that. snow white situation yeah. weird well what's, what's what's the low end uh so there's a, a low end and a high end of the long uh the the box office projection the long-term box office projection the low end was 50 million right mm -hmm. 50 to 75 million, million yeah, so uh, you know, Deadline got in on this yesterday. I couldn't believe it, that, but they 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 talked about the high end, but they said 75 to 80. I think that might be possible, but I think you're right, Ryan. If they go out and hit that red carpet, they're hitting that that low end. They're hitting 50 million for sure. Yeah, That's because none of them are going to help. That is uh, gonna but, be, this is a this. There is no energy for this movie at all. There is none. There is no anticipation. Nobody cares. Energy. Yeah, it really is.
And the again, that's how it is. On, everyone wants to watch a movie about some really annoying, entitled, argumentative sport. I do. They're <laughs> <laughs> just kind of flocking to the cinema. You're just so wrong. <laughs> got my outfit picked out. I just, know what kind of who wants to watch a I'm single gonna... one of these women ever in anything? <laughs> but Captain Marvel broke a billion dollars. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> Good twice. Hit the second one. Not the second time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why I'm would you though? Of, I'm gonna do an out of the theater reaction, a live stream, three videos. I I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do an in the theater reaction. Never mind fucking out of it. Yes. Well, so that's all you're gonna so disturb any other patrons. Quarter black. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sold out cinema. Wait a minute, I'm on my own. Okay, cool. But it I, is I do have a question. That, right. Yeah, sure. I, I do have a question. Like, what is actually Hollywood's problem with movie uh, women in movies? Like I I I get called a misogynist a lot, right? And I'm like, because you are, but, it's okay. <laughs> but, no, you're but like, Hollywood actually represents women as people Lager. you kind of want to hate. As in, like, look at the look at the expressions on these right. women's faces. Mm -hmm. there, right? Yep. Do, would you want to spend five seconds talking to a single one of these women? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Every black Not woman you see in a movie them. is a massive bitch. And I'm like, look, I've been to America. I've met black women, and loads of them were actually really nice. Like, are they not like, hang on a second, why why is every black woman just this argumentative? Me, 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 me. Why is every like, you know, woman, like every other woman just like some shrew who's just really annoying to be around? Like, because that's strong and empowered. Strong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They exactly. think they're strong and empowered. And it's like, yeah. no, they're just yeah. bitches, yeah. man. <laughs> It's because yeah, that's, that's what the writers are like. They're, they're writing it after yeah. what exactly. they see. Exactly. <laughs> they, it's exactly like what the writers are like. They, they try to take male stoicism and put it onto female characters. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work, and this might shock a lot of fucking far left fucking weirdos in Portland with pink hair and a fucking penis, but the reason why it doesn't work is men and women are different. Yeah. <sighs> the one thing we see them have in ass. common is, is when you see stuff like this you see that men don't want masculine women and that women don't want these masculine strong stoic women either mm. that's why you yeah. see something like barbie yes. and regardless yes. of how you felt about the movie or not mm -hmm. it, it felt like it was a movie that was supposed to be pretty girly and feminine yes. and things like yes. this yeah. women showed up in droves for that they're yeah, not because show they up could for celebrate a woman who's just mean mug in the camera. Yeah. They could and celebrate like, the femininity. They could yeah. they could wear yeah. pink and dresses yeah. and feel girly and go out for cocktails and It'll all that kind of stuff. Women again. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's absolutely fine. That's called catering to an audience. And that's absolutely fine. Imagine that men that like something exists. and women like something as well. Crazy. Yeah. It's when you put a in the, overthrowing the matriarchy and setting up a patriarchy, men flock to the Barbie movie as well. Who could have Yeah, because Ken was the <laughs> basis best character by a country mile. Like, well, he brought happiness men. to fucking Barbie land. <laughs> and they had and horses. Destroyed. And they tore it away from him. <laughs> yes. Sent him oh, back I, to I the love, beaches. I love how much the Barbies loved the rule of the Kens as well. <laughs> yes. That, that was just yeah. the best. I don't know whether they knew what they were doing when they put that in there. No. And ironically, it was such a they were happy. Moment, yeah. Like feminism yeah. is only justified if women are unhappy because they need something to then correct. And yes. so the whole point of it was to convince no. everyone that no, you you're not happy, you're unhappy, and and yeah, and we're gonna have to brainwash like, you. Yeah, <laughs> kidnapping and brainwashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we make them feminist boys. <laughs> the thing is, though, the brainwashing <laughs> was masculinity from the men. Yeah. That was the brainwashing, and the women were like, oh. These men being all kind of like macho and stuff is really nice. And they had to snap them out of it. No, no, they should be subservient uh, and cucked and effeminate. And, 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 and oh. oh, it's great. Thing is, when when Connor came in the office, like the day after it was released, I was like, okay, how was it? It was, like, it was amazing. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, what? He starts telling me all of this stuff. I'm like, that's not in the Barbie movie. He's like, yeah, yeah. They they discover patriarchy and just go back and like say to the Barbies, hey, why don't you just let us be in charge? So it'll be great. And everything's brilliant and everyone's happy. I'm like, that's not in the Barbie movie because that'd undermine the entire premise of the feminist notion of the film, wouldn't it? And he's like, yeah, it's like they don't know what they made. <laughs> yeah. like, it looks like they don't know what they made, you know. The most popular <laughs> I mean, look, video I've done in, I think, two years. It has been the you're watching Barbie wrong when 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 the feminists yeah. were like no 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 yeah, yeah. you're watching it wrong and no 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 we're not. 
<laughs> but what, what I love about it is like like Barbie gets the Ken. She's like, "How did you set up the patriarchy?" He's just like, "We just explained the in- irresistible logic of the patriarchy," and everyone was like, "Yeah, that's a great idea," and all the Barbies are happy. And it's like. <laughs> I, I would have written that. <laughs> I was genuinely speechless. Yeah, the movie, the movie like... was literally an expose on on the <laughs> devastating horrificness of intersectionality and yeah. femi- modern day feminism. It and looks the like fact what we're that Barbie is... at the end. Oh, sorry, sorry, go on. Sorry, sorry. You go, you go. Well, I was just going to say the fact that Barbie at the end actually does choose patriarchy in the real world should show you everything you need to know about the world they're trying to create but what, what do i know i think I'm, i know we've talked about this but like i think a lot of times when we see these like kind of weak ineffectual kind of shitty male characters it it like it looks to me like it's these female writers writing parts for the men almost to get back at like we're writing these parts for the men because this is how society and the culture wants women to be, but we're throwing it in their faces. We're making the men act and be like this. It's very twisted. Yeah, no, I mean, no, the, it's, it's about revenge. And I mean, the yes, Barbie film yeah. actually exposes that as well because they say, no, no, Ken's, you're going to remain rep- re- oppressed until women have equal rights in the real world when they already do. It just means they just want to oppress the Ken's um, and men in the way that they perceive women have been p- oppressed in the past. And so it's not about equality. It's about supremacy and revenge. Yes, ex- 100. Yeah. 100. Mm-hmm. It's, it is. That's it's a revenge. Well. Feminism is, is a revenge story. There is no equality. It, it, it's it's a complete lie. Feminism has always been about a revenge story. And once they've got a taste of power with the Me Too Time's Up movement, and they've been pushing women into to roles that they are not, and role, particularly in a directing and a writing capacity, that they've not been suitable for because they've been pushed into male spaces, male franchises, dominated male. That's just a fact. It's not fucking bigotry or, or sexism. It's just a fact. Comic books. Vast majority men, action fields, vast That's majority men. And sexism, though. And they're pushing it in and they're going, Oh, well, we're gonna make these like ready for women now. These are women's spaces as well as men's spaces, and they don't work. So you get the Marvels, you get three miserable bints uh that, that exude no fucking personality, no characterization. They do they have no uh anything worth it grasping onto in terms of, of who they are. No characterization. Why do we like Captain Marvel? Why? There is no reason to like her. She has done nothing worthy of praise, nothing worthy of admiration, nothing worthy of respect. We're meant to like Captain America because we're told to do so. Because the film is skewed that they are the correct uh, hero that we need. They're not. People, people are Captain stupid. Marvel. Yeah, yeah, Captain Marvel. So, so what did Captain I say? America. So Captain no, America. Captain, no, Captain America is great, great ass, ass yeah. of America. But uh, <laughs> no, Captain Captain Marvel. There's nothing, no traits to like about her whatsoever. Nothing. Oh, and well, people and, aren't and stupid. And, oh, I know. There's all that affirmation from other characters saying you're so brilliant and you're so wonderful and everything. And, but every time hell don't actions, show, hell yeah, don't exactly. show. She's not showing those you know, those traits at all. Um, Though I think there's one character that's going to be somewhat charismatic, but therefore out of place in the film, and that's Miss <laughs> Marvel. I think Miss Marvel and the actress has some charisma, and, and she's charming, but it's it's not won't like, matter to I the box office. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to. No, yeah. I'm no. sharing I'm sharing my screen right now. This is perfect right here. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I was looking at that now. That is perfect right there. <laughs> oh, it won't care for the box office for Miss Marvel because it didn't care when she had her own show on Disney. Yeah, exactly. Plus. Like, even though I think the actress did a good job, the show is not made for men, which is the primary, you know, consumers of superhero content. It was a teen girl drama show, and I tried to give it a go, and I checked out. I couldn't even finish it. Even Disney. though I could acknowledge that the actress was doing a good job, and and the writing wasn't as bad as other shows that uh, Marvel has made, it's just, it is not made for me. It just was I, completely boring, checked out, couldn't, couldn't. Get or new or Marvel. That's what it was about. Is about taking mm-hmm. all the characters, uh, changing them into into mm-hmm. more feminine, more female progressive uh, types, and they just flopped. It yeah, just, everything it... flopped. Mm-hmm. Every single facet of it flopped. And yet, yeah. stupidity is like, yeah, let's take this monumental flop in comics because 
the target audience wasn't there, has never been there, and will likely never be there. Now let's put it onto the small screen slash big screen. And what what have we seen through phase four? Just mm-hmm. every time. Every yeah, fucking and, time. And the and and look, it actually it's actually not about having a male lead or a female lead. It's a, it's about the type of show or movie you're making and catering it to the specific audience. Guys, it's pretty clear what we like. We like action. We like sexy women. We like you mm. know, I, that's what we like. We love the superhero genre. And so, if it was a female lead in that action genre, a lead of battle angel, the live action, I freaking loved it. Okay, we have loved female action heroes for ages because it was still made for the target audience. It was made for men, right? But no, they want to try not men are toxic. We and they were trying to say, oh no, we'll just get more audience by catering it to women, and then we'll have both women and men. And it's like, no, you, you've just checked out the core audience and shockingly enough most women aren't into superhero content or action flicks and things and so they've just destroyed their potential fan base and the ones who are the key the thing is the ones who are like it the way it was right yes. same thing with like star yes. wars like all this shit lord of the rings it's not to say there's no female fans there there are but they yes. liked it the way it was they don't like it when you're trying to change it into something you think is more appeal to female audiences Exactly. It's like Resident Evil. When Bandering. the Resident Evil games, Biohazard, are made in Japan, and so they haven't yet, thankfully, been uh, destroyed by the Western gaming industry. So even on the recent release of the Resident Evil 4 remake, even though they changed the costumes of Ashley and Ada, I legitimately think they changed them to just be more... Up, not When I say updated, I don't mean progressively updated, more modern to go with this sort of time that we're in now. So they were still in very, you know what would be described as sexy costumes now, sexy outfits now. But they were, Ada Wong is a femme fatale, and both women and men love femme fatales. Mm -hmm. Men, because there's this sexy, strong, capable woman, knows her own mind, very independent, and not in a patronizing way, not in a Hollywood way. It's the kind of woman that you would gravitate towards because of it. And women... Women have the same power fantasies that men have. So women see the, the, the power in this woman and they, they gravitate towards that. I want to, to because we a lot of heroes, the point of the heroes is to project yourself into the hero. But the man, the males, the vast majority of us, when we project ourselves into Batman, we're Batman. We're Superman. That's what we project. When a woman projects themselves into a character, they project themselves so wonder woman becomes karen from basingstoke you know and it's a very different it's a very different thing because it completely changes the complexity of the character but a lot of women they will see the strength of wonder woman ada wong femme fatales cat woman is another one very femme fatale and and they still get that power fantasy from them so when you take a character that is a femme fatale and turn her into a karen it doesn't work for either men or women. It's not empowering to women, and it's not attractive to men. And Hollywood's so you, lost its way with a lot of this characterization. Yeah, what you're saying there, as this has been confirmed in like psychology, where they've studied kids playing with toys, and that Lego did it, I think it was, where they studied how boys project themselves into their playtime, and the boys are literally pretending that they're Batman, you know, and they mm-hmm. and they start acting like Batman. But mm. girls, when they start doing it they change the characters in themselves. Batman, or if it's Wonder Woman, becomes them. And so they're yes. Sarah or... or, or, or Lady Jill Gravemaster or had a great saying on this. It's uh, men want to, men and boys want to live the fantasy. Girls and women want to control it. Oh! Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh. That's so true. Dang, Lady that's good. Yeah. That's why she's based as fuck. Sign yes, up she for is. my yeah. only fans. <laughs> 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 all right hey i gotta bounce Jeremy. uh yep i gotta bounce so thank you carl awesome having you on and dude uh, anytime yeah and chrissy if you want to do a stream anytime just dm me on twitter you know dude, now that you gotta, i gotta bring you on Covercast. we can have a fucking good discussion yeah, over there of course, so let's of course. do it okay all right i'll hit yeah. you up thanks to elon for allowing me to contact sargon of akkad could you or drink or could you reach out to sargon for us yeah. hey you know it is what it is but hey good stuff uh friday night tice is awesome gary 
I need to see Gary turn. I want you to start a gaming channel, Gary. That's what oh I my God. See. Nerdrotic Gaming. I want you. You're going to become the most prolific gamer uh, in the history of YouTube. You're going to you're going to top PewDiePie. All right. I, I, I feel it. I hey, know as soon as the happen. culture war is over, I'll do it. OK, once the culture need- war is over. <laughs> And and listen, I'll do I, I'm not I don't like speaking for people, but I'm sure Ryan can hop on. You know, there's a bridge scene, he could drop an M bomb, you, you go first, <laughs> okay. So uh <laughs> I'm sure Ryan wouldn't mind I, I wouldn't apologize. The little, <laughs> the little plumpy, cute things beating the shit out of each other. Party I'll play animals. that game. Body animals. I know you talk yeah. about ass like that. He's losing weight. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you guys. Have a good night. I'll see you later Thanks, over on Cobracast. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hey, Jeremy. Good night. Hey. Why are you gay? Back to the LA Comic Con announcement, really quick. So I'm going to be at LA Comic Con with Chris Gore, who has gotten uh, three panels approved. All three panels. Here are the names of the panels. I asked Chris if I could talk about this. I didn't get an answer, so I'm just going to assume it's yes. Okay? that's We're good. Uh, why 99% of movies today are garbage. Uh, <laughs> any filmmaker's survival guide. And uh, I suggested this one. The death of the modern franchise. So uh, I'll be oh, wow. there. Uh, people are invited from Geeks and Gamers. And anybody here want to wants to go, uh, let me know. And uh, that's uh, that's Thank LA Comic Con, which is in a little over a month, month and a half, month and a half. So I'll be there. Uh, it's in a horrific part of town, but um, you know, you just Fantastic. don't stay there. You know, well, stay in the part of the United States. So it's in yeah. a horrific part of the United. It's it's weird that I am in California and gas is ridiculous, but I'm in like the one nice place that has clean streets. I saw a homeless guy, a single one. Wow, and he looked new. He looked like he was a new fentanyl zombie. Uh, <laughs> Mm. but by the grace of god i hope he's okay i hope he finds recovery someday but uh yeah he was he was holding a sign standing up asleep so uh that was pretty that sad. takes skill that's talented i, I don't know yeah. why people in the chat are talk, saying that i'm really young that i'm a zoomer that i'm just a child i'm gonna turn 35 in a month so. okay yeah i agree with the chat yeah you guys <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perspective damn that means you're actually generation x uh, I no, think I'm a millennial. millennial. No, I'm, millennial. Yeah, I'm a millennial. millennial. He's an early millennial. Yeah. Early no, millennial. Mo- yeah, I millennial think- is like 85. Or 85. Oh, it's 85. I thought it was 81. Oh, it's 80? 81 and on. Well, being a Zoomer, I don't understand these things. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Cap. Uh, consequences. Work. <laughs> oh, like yeah. That. And by the way, just to... Just, uh, to, to do to do a prime example of a woman projecting herself into a character, she hulk Oh, yes, yeah. All the writers are you, projecting Carl? themselves yes. onto that guy. I'm forty four. Forty four. You don't look I'm it, girl. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, when you get this much white in your beard, when someone says you don't look it, you take that. Mm. <laughs> That's a, you get the great a compliment. Chest, I appreciate. Bro. Oh, I got that Rough. little bit of white. Bit I of get white. I get white in my hair before it comes right out. Uh, yeah, I'm getting. <laughs> oh, I, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about yeah, comes yeah. conditioner. Yes. Yes. Conditioner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Sure. X-ray girl, you ready to read some more super chats? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue the one from Rolling the Wretched. Um, okay. So we're talking about ass. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, he could have waxed his balls in that time. Hey. So, uh, if only the panel had someone that could speak to the misappropriation of British culture, as these jokes are never going to go away. Yeah, Congrats yeah, yeah, yeah. To Chrissy and Frank. You're going to insult me. Can you come on my own fucking channel and do it for a super chat? You fuck. <laughs> no, no, do it right here. It's a perfect right place for us. <laughs> oh, don't pay Gary to fucking insult me. Pay me. Yeah. Uh, congrats hey, to Chrissy and Frank. For you. <laughs> Congratulations to Chrissy and uh, Frank for bringing in putting, a baby, a boy. For for thank yeah, God, it's a boy. A boy. Good. A boy. Uh, Are you gonna have such an easier time? Future pineapple pizza eater in the oven. Today's read Genesis nine one. And God blessed Frank and said to him, "Be fruitful and multiply in thirty eight seconds and fill the earth." 
Um, okay, that was kind of gross. First time a Bible passage has it's given like me the ick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was time. It's time to say hail FNQ fellowship chat baby Thor pizza time Hawaiian pizza. Dan Vosk is as gay as ever. Hashtag sub neurotic. Until yes. next week. So long, gay boys. I wish I had. I can't put the clip. You can do it. Hello, here. Oh, yeah. Daddy Chell. <laughs> so long, Daddy gay Chill. boys. I don't have my that. that I have my road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew Hammond for $45 on the Streamlab side. Carl is a great dude, and I have been a Lotus Eaters subscriber from the beginning. You two can join at only five British pounds per month. 10 British pounds per month gets articles read to you. 30 has even more great stuff. They have a daily podcast that starts at 8 a.m. Eastern. There we go. Best advert we've got so far. Thank you. <laughs> and, he, and he's right. It's... And he's right, by the way, which is more Thank important. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we have the Sub. next miss it's my morning viewing every morning oh you wake up at 7 a.m gary is consistently <laughs> lag <laughs> about three to four seconds yeah. behind the conversation this entire stream this reminds me of as when he would like yeah <laughs> <laughs> he was on his phone for his um internet because his landline fell off and it'd be like 20 seconds later he'd laugh at a joke <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, and I poor David from the show passed away yesterday. Never yet. <laughs> <laughs> As, this, this is my word to all the asteroids not coming. Fun. It would be delayed. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we have Xenaximus in two parts on the Streamlabs side for $40. Says, Hey, LFNT, I really enjoyed your One Piece review, Gary. Major props to you and Perry Chan on a great video. I'm looking forward to seeing if you make it further into the story. There's one character who joins the crew later whose backstory and the events that accompany it hit harder than even Sanji's and Nami's did. And it also sets up a plot thread for readers about a grand conspiracy in the world to eventually be unraveled. Godspeed, Fellowship. P.S. F the world government. Now he actually wrote it out, but I don't swear. What? I don't spit say it. on the internet. Say no. it. Okay. Right. Say it. Hold on. Hold on. X ray girl. Right. Good, on the difference? Good on you. Good on you. No, no, no. Oh, it's all oh, fucking oh, fake. Shit. That's like an <laughs> Amish person who doesn't use electricity, but they have it in their fucking shed, all right? She swears she doesn't do it on the internet. Don't call her Amish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was way decent. <laughs> hey, by the way, Chrissy, I've got to ask why are you streaming from inside of a shower? <laughs> I'm in Minnesota because uh, I have a gig uh, tomorrow night. That, I, don't I know guess that like, explains is it. Is that a Minnesotan thing? <laughs> yes. We do all our she... streaming for a shower, eh? Are you actually in make, a shower? I have to make a couple extra bucks after this. Uh, uh, no, uh, let's look at the part. left side of her where you see plugs <laughs> in the wall. It's like, yeah. uh, this is a, just uh, the outside. This is actually is like a little <laughs> arcade for kids and like a pool. Shower considering they've got outlets right there in the bottom left hand corner. It's yeah. like just just for really suicidal Minnesota. Yeah, go take a shower. <laughs> you sure you're not in Canada? <laughs> it's a shower this for suicidal crazy. people. Yeah. It's got it's a row my... of toasters. It's got a fucking row of yes, toasters. It's called in my room. final shower. Yeah, I saw I saw some fucking meme the other day that was like, my uh I I just <laughs> bought my last bath bomb. And it was a toaster. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, so anyways, oh, oh, killing left. yourself is so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Only when other people do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm dead on the inside. I have been for a long time. Would you like a toaster? <laughs> hey, I'm going to throw a sandwich maker into my bath. <laughs> WG for $50 says, Florida, home to Ryan and Jeremy. Also Florida. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after SWAT promises him pizza. Hashtag coincidence? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. Only okay, in Florida. Drunk. 
<laughs> I went places. That's that. why he's not <laughs> Uh, we have Parbruic on the stream lab side for $50 um, and writes a poem. Roses are meh, violets are lame. This low key hype sad that God's past his end game. By the way, I have a channel called Parbruic, P A R B R U E K. It doesn't legit deserve a shout out, but I sing higher than Dan. And the algorithm would get so confused. First time super chat, be violent. You go. Ooh. Thank you. Thank As you're up. <laughs> it's bold to just in your first super chat let us know you're gay with a poem, but it's yeah. <laughs> I respect the bravery. <laughs> I wasn't paying the slightest bit of attention. <laughs> it was a poem about how much Lego. Sucks. You know, poetry used to be respected once upon a time. Can we can you read that again? <laughs> Poetry um, was actually the first like inner form of entertainment that got taken over by the gays. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was just that first time super chat. Be violent. Be violent. Okay. Oh, but holes are red. Gary. He's, he's <laughs> but holes are well, red. I'm Balls here. I'm here. I just lag in. Okay. And I'm listening to the stream on my phone, and it's clear <laughs> that it is here. <laughs> some holes are red, some holes are brown. When you slip from the red, I give them a big frown. I oh, I go extra down. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was no I hesitation don't, I don't in use that curse words on the internet. I don't swear on the internet to remain pure. <laughs> By the way, if you're about to get in my yeah. ass, I'll really get down. <laughs> Come on. There I go. And it, it was instant. No hesitation. Yeah, it was... Just... Well, I was telling you not to give her all those fucking Christian props so so quickly, Shad. <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're yeah. right. I mean, I met her in person and she drinks like a sailor. She's always... <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> sucks more dick, too. So. <laughs> I don't think she sucks more dick than a sailor, to be honest with you, Ryan. It's just one, okay? <laughs> Uh, we got Nicholas Cowling for 50,000 South Korean uh, won. Uh, Two quid. Just, what? Two quid. Two quid. <laughs> just want to say thanks to y'all and contribute to the cause. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. Um, Vinicius Haas has gifted 10 erotic memberships for $50. Um, and Ministry of Wrong Think. For forty nine ninety nine says Captain Marvel, she's here to kick butt and chew bubble gum, and she's all out of uh, butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Ryan. There's more than one reason Mahler calls her plank. Hail FNT. Hail. 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 Uh, disco. Oh, did Jerry just say that? <laughs> yes, he's the second five. Hey, just say that. That's right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking disaster. This is sorry, Carl. Highly organized. Sorry, Carl. Shut that up. Gary's going to talk in five, four, three, two, one. Hail. As like Sanders. <laughs> 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 that was so close. Uh, uh, no, uh, Disco Cobra 2013 for fifty dollars. I know Gary is the best gamer here, so I have a question. Who is picking up Spider-Man 2 for the PS5? I just got my copy from Amazon. Review looks great, and everyone seems to be loving it so far. Is Beardo still streaming? What game is he streaming? I don't know about Beardo, but I, I think he's streaming on Kick though. Uh, he was playing. He was playing that earlier today. I, I'm, I'm not really digging it. I'm not really feeling it. So I probably won't play it. But I don't can know. you get it on the PC yet? No, no, no. no. Only on PS5. Yeah, I'm not buying a PS5 for this. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, Hot Grape Studio for fifty dollars. Do you <laughs> have kids just as tired of woke entertainment as you are? Then check out the family friendly. Fantasy comic from Hot Grapes Comics, Blights and Beauties. Love you guys and hail the fellowship. So that's Hot Grapes Comics, hot Blights grapes. and Beauties. Hot Grapes. Sounds like Hiles. Hot Grapes Comics. 
Oh, Which me hot, off. me hot grapes are killing me. I like grapes when they're old. <laughs> and liquid. I've made Ryan laugh three times this week. It's fucking amazing. I'm just so happy. <laughs> it's like winning the fucking lottery. <laughs> One of the jokes was, I mean, admittedly about killing yourself in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David for fifty dollars says, "Hi Gary, I've watched your streams since Hot D. I'm not much of a comic book reader, but I'm a huge fantasy slash history nerd. In my spare time, I've created my own fantasy world with almost four thousand years of history, but haven't written a book yet. Hail FNT. Write a book. You got can't wait for months. House of the Dragon season two, middle of twenty twenty four. It's not soon enough. Right, we're probably going to get it earlier. Uh, they're shooting for possibly between April and June. I I'm for them holding out and waiting for the release of Rings of Power season two, and then they should just oh, pull out the head to head again. again. Yes, yeah. that would that'd be a nice that. comparison. Like, well, we would tip. I feel like Game of Thrones. I guess it varied a little season to season, especially there at the end. But I feel like Most those are usually like April. May releases, right? Yeah, May and April. Uh, uh, that's that's when, especially the early years when they you know didn't have as big of a budget and everything. They were they were out uh, earlier in the well later in the spring we'll say cool Hail. 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 Uh, Hail. I'm just not gonna talk anymore <laughs> uh not Suck. johnson for fifty dollars <laughs> on the stream lab side i was too late to get tickets for the milwaukee meetup buy a few overpriced drinks on me fins up and bubbles up that should pay for me for like you know two drinks. I don't know. Actually, it's no. <laughs> All right, DSB, calm down. Pure. <laughs> I need that money. Pay for my drink, gin. Uh, She's gonna destroy my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you can get a tits out and everything will be fine. Don't I worry. think that's that's the only way to recover if I do destroy yeah. it. <laughs> Quelnzar on the three love side for a hundred dollars says, "I know Snow White has gotten more coverage, but Daily Wire has also been putting out behind the scenes shorts on filming the Pendragon cycle uh, style based Pen on Pen Pendragon Pen Pen Dragon Pendragon Pen Arthur Pendragon Pen Dragon Pen <laughs> based uh. on Stephen R. Lawhead's books." I love those as a kid and wondered if any of y'all have opinions on it. I just hope they do it justice. <laughs> and I don't see how they have the budget to. Also, congrats, Kissy, and hail the fellowship. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, so I, mean, I actually did. Right, right. I did for the first time see some of those behind the scenes shorts. They've been doing the Pendragon cycle stuff for a while. It looks interesting. Obviously, Chad, that's more his uh, sphere of I'm, expertise. All right, I might take a look. I'm very. I have a high bow when it comes to like good fantasy. So I hope they. I hope they do a good job. I really do. I haven't read the books yet, so I'm gonna check them out. So it looks kind of interesting. I'm just gonna mute my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the soundboard away from Gary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfect. You keep doing that. Uh, <laughs> it's beautifully awkward. Uh, that's good. Uh, Darren Calhoun for $100 says, Hail from a fellow contributor to the Iron Age of independent entertainment. Hail to you. Nice. Who's that? Hail. Darren Calhoun. Darren Calhoun. Nice. Um, and we have Hames for fifty dollars. Says, "Hail all, Carl." Oh, I'll I'll wait until he's back. Um, Odin seventy nine on the Streamlabs side for forty seven seventy seven. Um, Up late with Alec Baldwin aired October eleventh, twenty thirteen, and lasted five episodes before being canceled. On this ten year anniversary anniversary, remember, kids, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. As oh! <laughs> thank you for calling me uh, a beach this morning. I needed it. Hashtag sub Dan Basque. 
<laughs> and, and it does look like they're preparing to potentially charge Alec Baldwin again, yeah. by the way. Again? Um, yeah, he's going back in. But Good. Yeah, potentially. The charges were dropped, but they were dropped uh, without prejudice, meaning they could refile yeah. if yeah, yeah. more evidence came to light. And the, the reason they dropped it from the beginning was because somebody fucked up with the gun, um, with some of the evidence for the revolver itself. There is no way that the gun fired without the trigger being pulled. Yes. No fucking way. Just the way that gun is made, unless there was a catastrophic mechanical failure, which they demonstrated after the fact that it wasn't. It was working properly. There's no way that the gun could have gone off without him depressing the trigger. Whether it was to just, like, guns cock and he just fucking pulls the trigger, or whether, like you do to have to actually decock a gun like that, you have to hold the hammer, depress the trigger, and then slowly release the hammer. Right? One of those ways. He was doing one of those things when the gun went off. Hmm. Hmm. there you go <clears throat> we have a uh, hames for 50 dollars. says hail all carl i own a rare horror bookstore in um mn i don't know that state minnesota minnesota, minnesota. <laughs> and am writing an article on the importance of the english ghost story and how they reflect british cultural values would it be a good fit for lotus eaters and do you have any favorites uh, maybe it depends how good it is, really. Um, the only thing ghost stories, I don't really know many ghost stories to be honest with you. The British government, <laughs> <laughs> it's not, sorry, it's not even, that's just I, I, that's just horror. That's just yeah, horror. It's, it's not a favorite of mine at all. You know, <laughs> I can't say I like that at all. Uh, I, I can't think of any, I'm not very well versed on the, the thing. Is this kind of a niche thing that you either sort of fall into and listen to a million podcasts about or you don't know anything about and i'm on the don't know anything about uh side of the fence but um you can always email us and uh we'll take a look at it i guess i don't know about like ghost stories or whatever but i i do feel like a lot of kind of early horror genre or scary shit like that whether it's like jack the ripper stories or like things like that even if some of it's like evolved from real shit that happened yeah like well, a lot of that, that was actually real <laughs> right, right i know but I, what i mean is like they've created like property like almost horror stuff based off of that you know what i mean almost oh, yeah, it's got yeah. to turn into like a more of a legend and a lot of that mm. stuff does seem to be based in the uk uh, I, I don't know exactly where he's going with that either but yeah well, i mean I i'm happy to listen <laughs> i don't know if you call it a ghost story per se but i've i've always loved uh hound of the baskerville from uh yeah, it's, kind of very good. Very good. It's, it's, it's kind of you know it's sort of kind of yeah. um but uh, mystery yeah, I just I just love that that um, who done it supernatural? Is it supernatural? Mm-hmm. Kind of like even even uh, Hercule Poirot, you know, has has plenty of those sort of stories as well. Mm-hmm. But Hound of the Baskervilles has always sort of stood with me. Is mm-hmm. a beauty. I hear I hear there's a couple in Scooby Doo, <laughs> and they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for <laughs> you, it wasn't Chad. For, it wasn't for those pesky <laughs> kids. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. All right, Gary. <clears throat> I'll wait. Hail. How you doing? Hail. <laughs> Hail. So I think he disappeared. He put in the chat like <laughs> over here. I, yeah, he's like, he feels like a ghost. <laughs> uh, so the next super chat, Kate C, aka Snake Plush Kitten for $50. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, Gary. Disney has yes. a certain feet with Kang. They are going to are they're going back to their roots for the new big bad in the Marvel movies. The main villain going forward will be Ant-Man's ne- nemesis, the porcupine. <laughs> Ooh, pointy. Ooh. Um Do you know how oh, to spend There you go, is? Gary. <laughs> uh, Carl. Cool. Do you know who Carl hey. is? Kristen Wall? Sorry, I kind of hate. Do I know who he is? <laughs> Chris Benoit. Oh God, is he a wrestler? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he the wrestler who killed his family? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I know about this because my wife used to like wrestling, and she told me about how he had like damage, damage to his brain and stuff like that. And he just concussions. Like, and killed Anyways, yeah, it's gonna make the reaction the next super chat even more interesting that you yeah. know the story. <laughs> so, oh my God. Uh, so he's, um, you know, donated fifty Canadian dollars. Says hi, Carl. Big fan since the Applebee's days. 
as a fellow father, do you have advice on raising a son in these troubled times? Perhaps we can do a stream discussing our ways of parenting. <laughs> I believe there's a dad cast stream we can go on. <laughs> to be honest, bro, I'm just trying to make it till bedtime. So, uh, <laughs> but I, I and I don't really want to take the Chris Benoit option. Uh, yeah, his, his family I'm goes sure to sleep pretty use. early. I was, I was kind of. I, th I think I kind of shot my load with the uh, the stream of Shad. We we had a great chat about dadism, and I think uh, I think I'm done with Your it. Dad now. load. Mm. Um, I haven't seen that. Is that out yet? Or? No, not yet. It's it's going to be out yeah. next week. Uh, basically, oh, we've got a backlog because we produce a lot. Oh. So nice. I'm It'll be coming out soon, don't worry. I Good problems to have. Um, we have Mark of Reality next with $100. Uh, Disney could be forced to sell Star Wars and Marvel if they went into bankruptcy, and the bankruptcy trustee thought he could satisfy the bankruptcy estate with those sales. I'm I don't see that happening. They'd have to go into bankruptcy. But... <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, hey, I mean, anything could happen if the company goes bankrupt. That's that's mm -hmm. sure. That's, for, that's mm -hmm. absolutely the case. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had have Hayden seventy five for fifty dollars. What's up, Hayden? Since the actors are banned from dressing up as any notable characters <clears throat> by the Film Actors Guild, I think this gives them a great opportunity to dress as Native Americans tribesmen or people from history but they don't band all that too f unions they're not allowed to dress up as any notable characters because then anyone from the marvels will be fine hey! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um and this is the last super chat of the night uh tony victor for 20 dollars says thank you as your kind words are sincerely appreciated my nephew chris is smiling down you guys are the best thank oh, you tony all Wayne the love Hurts. all the love all the love man mm. so sorry but we thank got we got some green believe it or not the only piece of green top that i own so there you go <laughs> okay it's not a top it's called a shirt I do got a t-shirt, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to being fucking 10 minutes behind the stream! You know? yeah. like, Gary I don't have like many those green two... tops around. Tops. Ga tops. Gary feels tops. like those two old guys in the Muppets at the moment who just pipes <laughs> in with like... <laughs> um, and I love this, it. This, this, is how we, this is how we show Kill we love me. each other. <laughs> um, and then he also says, thank you for the Green Hearts chat. Would have Aww. contacted the rest of you, but was difficult to write about. Well, green hearts again imagine, in the chat. Uh, imagine. Yeah, loads of green hearts in the chat. Please come on, chat. Mm. Right. <clears throat> I love that. That's got to be devastating. I could not imagine oh. the pain. Heartbreaking. I just can't even think about it, can you? You don't yeah, want to think. You don't want to think about it. No, yeah. you don't. So, oh. yeah, that's uh, unless Gary has something else he wants to add. That's uh, all the super chats so far. We'll get the rest in the square up when I have internet again. Do you, did Are you, you hear just that? Yes, yeah, we, we, we heard, heard it. That. We heard it. <laughs> we heard Gary, it. Yes. Yeah. Gary, you sound like you're on your deathbed and you're just like. Yeah, you sound congested. <laughs> I'm not square congested. up in heaven. I'm fine. I, I feel great. Uh, this, it's, it's fucking frustrating. I can't talk on my own fucking live stream. <laughs> well, any consolation is very was funny. That? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it went smoother after though because it was like this weird thing where you kept you'd like tell somebody to go on and then you'd fucking in unintentionally <laughs> cut them off <laughs> four seconds late. <laughs> Maybe I was doing it on purpose. And like Ooh. we all understood what was happening, so we just kind of sat there and let it happen. Yeah. So, so what it looked like from my perspective is you guys were just th sitting there quietly for like long periods of time. I'm like, what? What is this? A drunk three PO stream? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, we're listening to you. Believe it or Shout not, you can actually purchase. I've just shared it. You can purchase a my last bath bomb kit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow oh my god Look at oh that. wow yeah so, you know <laughs> get a hair dryer <laughs> and a toaster yeah, yeah. <laughs> see the idea i saw was an actual toaster <laughs> oh god carl i'm sorry i apologize 
Uh, he, he knew what he was getting cool. into. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on this before. <laughs> I know exactly what's getting into. He knows what's up. It went way smoother last time, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to yeah. go. Let's end this disaster. Uh, chat, I love you for hanging with us this long. It probably was a better show without me most of the time anyway. So no. uh, We'll be back no. next week with okay. Halloween costumes. Oh, and yes. you'll want to see them. Oh, yeah. I got mine ready. Are we, yeah. we going to announce the theme or not? I think the we theme of the Halloween. Co- I think we should. It yeah, should be a we surprise. Just reveal. Yeah, okay. just leave like us a surprise. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. we'll surprise you. There's, there is the theme. There was some yeah. actual planning what? that went into this. Yeah, more than a normal show. Yeah. But it's <laughs> closer <laughs> to the show, we announce it to the audience, so then they could get costumes, and then we could rate their costumes at the end of the show Ooh. next week. You know, oh, yeah. I could get a spider in the I could get spice. Now we can't decide. I was supposed to fully announce my book today too, but we'll do that next week when you can see and hear me. It'll be a good oh. idea. Yeah, I'm I'm writing a book. I'm gonna tell you sure. what it's about. Ooh. It's about crack. Yeah. <laughs> it should be like, uh, yeah, from prison to YouTube, my story. Yeah. Uh whatever. <laughs> yeah, smoking, smoking my transition. <laughs> Call it worthy. I heard that's working out well for Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Thirty percent off at Target. Already. <laughs> to, yeah. to be fair, every single is. new book that gets released at Target goes on thirty percent. What? What was what's her name's book? Oh God, I'm, why am I blanking on her name? Uh, the this the old bit who uh, always tries to go after YouTubers and stuff. Uh, Taylor that could Lorenz. Be anyone? Taylor Lorenz. Lorenz. Thank oh. you. What was the name of her book? I'm a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> the other name. Gary. Totally online or something like that. Yeah, uh, never. Uh, Gary, That's I awesome. heard you were going to call yours one, your one uh, My Story or something like that. Maybe it's called German. Extremely my, Online. My, my, it's called from, Extremely yeah, from, Online, The Untold Story of Fame, Influence, and Power on the Internet. So. I, like, I do kind of like that one from Gary. From Prison to YouTube, My Struggle. My struggle. Yeah. yeah. I'm struggling. That is. That, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, like a modern day painter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> However, that title will probably be more appropriate for Ryan. Because I, I lived. <laughs> so. what, if, what, Austria? What are you going to say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there in Vienna. <laughs> it, was a big, it was a bit of a struggle. It's not untrue. <laughs> it's accurate. You're like this yeah. is when the uh, this is when the fucking delay is not necessarily doing you any favors, Gary. Where I just make a reference about your life as Adolf Hitler, and you're like, "Well, it's funny because I did live," you know. And then you stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, get us the hell out of here. Hey, uh, see you guys later, everybody. <laughs> well, let, let Carl. <laughs> oh, yeah, Carl. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, sake. Carl. Oh, oh yeah, just uh, go over to the podcast of Lotus Eaters, guys, uh, and check us out. We're, we're great, and uh, you guys are great. And so thanks so much for having me. This has been brilliant. Thanks, thanks for, for being here. For coming on, man. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Carl. Carl. Chris, Chrissy, you have dates, right? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm going to be in Minnesota. Aw. Uh, I'm going to be in Minnesota tomorrow at the Partners Pub at 8.30. Myself, Nick Ricada, and Lila Hart are doing a show together tomorrow night. And then uh, I'm on Long Island next weekend, 27th and 28th, at the Brokerage in Belmore. And uh, December 3rd in Tampa. And January 5th and 6th in San Diego. And tonight at, uh, I guess, let's see, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Minnesota time, I'm doing a spooky movie watch along. We're going to be watching Sleepy Hollow. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. I like Which I like version? That was scary. I think the, the one with one? Johnny Depp. Yeah, it's good. I like yeah. that. I like it. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I enjoyed That's that. what the title should be Crisis on Infinite Tijuana's. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right, as uh, uh, real BBC this week is on my channel. Special guest Kelly Jones. 
artist supreme. Uh, I, I really thought you were going to say Kelly Sue. Sue to <laughs> and, if, and if no! you don't like her politics, don't watch my stream. Thank you, Kelly Jones. Oh, fire book. Uh, Kelly Jones, and do watch it, please. Ryan. Uh, you guys know where to find me, Ryan Kittle, RK Outpost. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's because you don't fucking want to. Um, sports Wars, Geeks and Gamers, all that good stuff. Thanks. Chad. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I can guarantee your feeds would not get flooded with anything that you have no interest in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie. I cannot say the same. <laughs> I have I, I have trended twice in the last week. Okay. Oh. I, 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 yeah. So is Hamas. <laughs> that doesn't Hamas mean it's good. It's shed right next to each other. Oh my God. Internet's a great Yeah, place. they'll both hold your timeline hostage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> both involve AI, funny enough. Yeah. Uh, in <laughs> comics division. Just get us out of here. Okay. <laughs> People don't want to find me. <laughs> X-ray girl. Uh, you can find me X-ray girl. Rumble YouTube locals. I'm going to be playing Quarry next, a scary game. So if you want to come and jump scare me, you can um, in the chat. Uh, I also am part of a new show starting tomorrow called Selfie <laughs> Saturdays with Wicked Virtue and Disparu, where we're going to talk about um, stuff like Britney Spears. And reality television. Who knows? We'll see. Hey. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, Shad and Chrissy are coming on Poor Choices next week. So. <gasps> wow. That's Dispera. 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 I do like how Director X says my name. Brian. I like, is it like You're he goofy. just fucking hates saying it? Goofy. You look goofy. <laughs> he said to the disco ball man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, so uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, on Sunday, we're still doing Sunday Fun Day. This week, it's Demonologist. Demonologist. It's going to get spooky yet again. It's like phasmophobia, but we also have to exercise the ghosts. Oh, oh the ghosts will be but fit. You have to go to the gym? Yeah. yeah. yeah I I got to do lunges. You also have to <laughs> exercise. Like, the curls. Game. Yeah, the curls, curls, bench press. The whole shebang. We're going to do that on oh. Sunday, Sunday, fun day, and uh, Forbidden Frontier on Sundays with Adam Krigler, Neurotic, myself, and X Ray Girl. Also, it's uh, it's very fun, and we talk about uh, demons sometimes. So if you want to watch that, you could do that. And uh, Normal World Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with Dave Lando on Blaze TV and YouTube. So go subscribe, go watch it. And uh, for Halloween, we're doing a special Halloween episode all about Ooh. Halloween and sketches. So looking forward to that. Ooh. Nice. Nice. All right. Is that everybody? Did I get everybody? Yes. Gary, Gary would you like a? Uh, would you like to say goodbye? I can you hear me. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. What? Go ahead. No. Go ahead. What was that? Can you hear me? I'm in, I'm in Palm Springs for CPAC. If you already got not the conservative one, the ancient civilization one, going to see Graham Hancock, Jimmy from Bright Insight, Ben from Uncharted X. We're all going to be here. If you got tickets, I'll see you there. Come by and say hi. All right. Sweet. Bye, everybody. Oh, hail. Bye. See ya, guys. Hail. Hail. See ya. Hail. Bye. Oh, what are you sharing? Oh. <laughs> How long is this going to last? God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs>
um, get interrupted. Keep the credits going. I'm just gonna. Hey, Chris T. Thanks for being a member. Uh, Clive P. Thanks for being a member. Uh, Kurt. Kurt and Kurt the C's. Uh, and it's still going. I'm not getting interrupted here. This is fantastic. Thanks for watching the show. Probably our best show ever. We ever did. I didn't have to talk for the last hour. Uh, M, thanks for being a member. Really appreciate that. That's very really cool. Uh, how am I supposed to say a name that's got a six for the, for the next letter? How are you supposed to do that? Hey, let's what Gary, the fuck is Gary talking over the music? I have no idea why he's doing it. Because I'm not going to get erupted. But now. Hey. Hey. Yeah, can, can Are we all coming you? back into the chat? I know, I'm just gonna, I, I know they can hear me. Add that I'm I here on the well. What about me? Like I'm going to make it about me. I'm going to make it about me. Uh, if you put the name up, I can help you, but I don't know which one it is. To I'm on, we're on J's right now. I see J's and M. I see JT. Oh. JT. JFS. Jin's Jeremy J. H. I see JFW. M. M. Uh, Jim B. I see Ad. Joe B. John. Mounting John Jeremy J. right now. Um, N. N. O. Josh. A lot of Joshes. There is a lot of Joshes. That's weird. Yeah. Kells, Kelly, Kendall, and Kirby. What Kevin. letter has the least amount of people? Probably Q. Uh, Z? It's gotta be uh, Z. Q. Yeah. L. There's Chrissy busting a watermelon with her tit. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, remember when she did that? That was classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Patrick F. Paul K, what's up, Pete? Phantom X. Man. Yours. Oh, oh, oh. Yours. I don't know. Professor Savage Dad. Quippy. Hell, radioactive. Rays. All the rays. Do not Rick come. come. Do not come. Ricks and I'm gonna come. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye I guess. <laughs> <laughs>